times. Uh, this is something that I did. I refused the plea deal several times, and that made the plea deal get sweeter. Typically, the deal is good up until the last minute before court. So um, the tactic I used was to negotiate a plea deal with several different prosecutors over a period of about three months. And during that time, I was able to significantly reduce the harm that the government was going to impose on me. So is that why you're calling me a hypocrite, Dave? Well, not just you, but, uh, you know, Peter, uh, Ian, uh, what's your buddy that just got let out of jail? You know, you guys all take the plea deal. That's uh, right. But you tell us, well, don't take the plea deal. Yeah, I still tell people right? not to take the plea deal, and it's smart. Unless, to... of course, unless of course, you can benefit from it, and you don't have to do your time or your thing. So it's okay for you or Pete Air or Ian or other people to take the plea deal. But then you tell other people never take the plea deal. Right? I don't say never. That's kind of, I don't. That's kind of hypocritic. No, I say. I believe I that's say... what it says on the bumper sticker: never take the plea deal or don't take the plea deal. So like, I don't know what bumper that. sticker you're talking about. I don't have a car, so I don't have a bumper sticker. But I do tell people not to take the plea deal, and that's why. And I think I've been pretty clear about the reasons I accepted the plea deal. Um, so is that all you wanted to talk about? Yeah, you're just a hypocrite. That's who you are. I mean, I think I've been pretty clear that uh, I did refuse the deal. Oh, and the caller has hung up. So I guess that's all I wanted to share. This is an open lines show. So if you wanted to say something nice and you uh, don't appreciate that caller, hey, you should call in next time and, and share something nice instead of uh, just leaving it to the uh, mean people. But hey, that's what's going to happen on an open lines show. So we appreciate you, the listeners, and you, the callers, even if you're nasty. This is Peace News Now. We'll be back on Tuesday. Peace. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. If you can't listen to the Liberty Radio Network's internet streams, free satellite channel, or radio affiliates, no worries. You can listen to LRN.FM from any phone, anywhere. Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0309. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Liberty Radio Network listen lines are locked into our stream 24 hours a day. Call 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. Lock it here for more live content. Free Talk Live is next on the Liberty Radio Network. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Kane and the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, July 13th, 2014. Silver is trading at $21.46 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,339 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $631. Antiwar.com reports... 
getting reliable information out of war zones is always challenging, but the ongoing war in eastern Ukraine seems to be exceptionally muddied by far-reaching claims from both sides of massive victories and large unconfirmed casualties. Since Friday's attack on a Ukrainian military base by rebels used a BM-21 Grad rocket launcher, the Ukrainian military claims to have bombarded two cities near Donetsk and citing pilots involved claims to have killed about 1,000 rebel fighters, 500 in each case. The Ukrainian military has a history of making unsubstantiated claims of large rebel casualties, but no single exchange in the war has ever killed more than a few dozen, so an actual killing of 1,000 rebels in a single day would be enormous if it was actually true. The rebels were making some disputed claims yesterday as well, claiming to have shot down an Su-25 warplane outside of Horlivka. The rebels have downed one military transport plane and some helicopters, but never a fighter plane. Ukraine denied that this happened at all. One thing that definitely happened was a military attack on Marinka with at least five civilians killed and four wounded. The exact toll is still a matter of dispute, with rebels reporting as many as 30 killed in the strike, which they said hit an orphanage. With Ukraine targeting Russian journalists on the ground and largely not letting anyone else in the nation's southeast, what is exactly going going on in Donetsk remains unclear. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760 Ballot Access News reports, on July 11th, a Kansas state court ruled that the Secretary of State did not exceed his authority when he determined that voters who registered using the federal voter registration form can only vote on federal offices, not state or county offices. The Kansas Secretary of State does not like the federal voter registration form because unlike the Kansas voter registration form, it allows people to sign under penalty of perjury that they are citizens, whereas the Kansas state form requires documentary proof of citizenship. The Tenth Circuit Court is currently hearing a case over whether Kansas can force the federal government to amend the federal form when it is used in Kansas. Assuming Kansas loses the federal case, the Secretary of State is determined to implement a system in which voters who use the federal form cannot vote in state and local elections. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Coinbase also allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin using a bank account or use their tools to accept Bitcoin as a merchant. Opening a wallet is quick and easy. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. The LA Times reports, despite a unanimous appeal from UN Security Council members, Israel and Palestinian militants traded more airstrikes and rocket fire Saturday with at least one mosque and a center for the disabled among the latest structures hit in the Gaza Strip. Palestinian medical sources said the number of dead in Gaza reached at least 159, the majority of whom were civilians. More than 1,000 people have been wounded. Early Sunday, a huge wave of airstrikes destroyed police stations and much of the security headquarters in the Tel Al Hawa neighborhood in southern Gaza. Separately, news reports quoted the Israeli military as saying four special forces soldiers were slightly wounded in a raid on a rocket launching site in northern Gaza. It was the first time Israeli soldiers were known to have crossed into Gaza during this conflict. The rising death toll has sparked international concern over the proportionality of Israel's response to rocket fire in Gaza. The rockets have struck deeper into Israel than in past conflicts, but have caused only one serious civilian injury. There have been no Israeli deaths as a direct result of a rocket strike. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A new medical study on the effects of marijuana use confirms that everyone knows you're high and that you'll never stop feeling like this. Everyone can smell the marijuana on your breath and on your clothes. Everyone is laughing at you. Additionally, the in-depth report reveals that despite trying to act cool, you're definitely laughing too much and everyone is messing with you. Your parents know you're high, your friends know you're high, 
strangers on the street know you're high. If you're young and you smoke marijuana, you will probably never be able to find a job. And if you're an adult, you will most likely be fired. If you hear a noise, that's probably the police, and you're probably going to jail. While previous studies suggested that it's all good and that we're all made of the same stuff that makes stars, new research indicates that your brain got broken and you shouldn't have done this. Doctors say the study raises important questions such as, what if that wasn't just marijuana and how are you going to get home? This is the Onion News Network. Well, I don't hear any music, but you are listening, hopefully, to the live Sunday night edition of Free Talk Live. We hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is on. Everything is on. So hopefully, uh, GCN, if you can hear this, um, give us a sign, a sign from the radio (laughs) gods that we're connected. Uh, (laughs) I wonder what that would look like. Would they send locusts to to kill the firstborn son of everybody? No, I'm pretty sure it would come in the form of a text message or maybe them getting on the mic and saying, you're live. Radio gods aren't as epic. Anyway, this is Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live is a show where you can call in about anything that's on your mind, unlike other talk radio shows, which... Probably aren't going to do that, Uh, really have a focus on the callers and what they have to say, and uh, definitely aren't going to be live on a Sunday night. Um, No, certainly not. You can call us and bring up anything that's on your mind here on Free Talk Live at 855-450-3733. That's our phone number. We're also available on Skype at lrn.fm. That's our Skype handle. And our phone lines are brought to you by the lovely, wonderful VPN provider, provider, ProXPN. That's right. You know, could you imagine if this happened to Rush Limbaugh? Could you picture him letting the show go on? I mean, here we are being so professional, oh, just talking so professional. into the mics, whether anybody's hearing us or not. He would be flipping so out, I bet. Too. So modest. Just like you always are, Brian. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this is, uh, you may notice that our normal Sunday uh, host, Mark, is gone today uh, since he hasn't said anything yet. And it's been uh, about a minute into the show. Yeah. Mark is at, well, a political dinner. He's emceeing it. Uh, I don't really understand why he's interested in going to this, but he goes pretty much every year. Maybe they I keep inviting him back. Um, <laughs> well, apparently he they ask him to uh, to essentially cajole people, and I think he is a professional at at that task. Uh, he's very good at cajoling. 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 Yeah. Cajoling. <laughs> Did you <laughs> to, mispronounce tomato, it on purpose? Tomato, I'm, maybe. I'm not even sure. <laughs> Right. It's a radio. I can do what I want. So anyway, yeah, people have to deal with just you and I. Yeah, this is the, uh, the one of those anarchist editions of the Sunday Night Show. And it, it is so anarchic, in fact, that we may not even be on the air. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out soon. I do see we have a call coming in, but uh, maybe there's no board operator there to screen it. So up uh, and they just dropped off the line. So okay. anyway, we're going to talk about what we want to talk about here on the Sunday Night Show. And uh, that would be something that um, is kind of a continuation of a story that we've covered in the past Sunday editions of Free Talk Live. We talked about Facebook and their unethical scientific research experiments on their users that the users did not consent to. Uh, and they lamely claimed it was covered by the terms of service that you agree to participate in research, even though uh, that was not very clear. Um, well, all right. In their defense, like they did get, you know, clearing from a, a board essentially, that said, yeah, you can go ahead and, and, and do this. Uh, well, I guess, though, that board actually worked for Facebook. So <laughs> maybe mm-hmm. that wasn't so, because that's what people expect with these kinds of, of things, is they'd expect a, a third party that would say, yeah, maybe this isn't that ethical. Well, Facebook went to a third party, but that third party works for Facebook. So what yeah, do you expect? Yeah, that's called a conflict of interest, and they should be aware exactly. of that. Um, <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to take ethics classes in grad school. I did. I have a PhD, and I did have to take ethics classes in grad school. But uh, how quickly we, f- we forget when the military waves money in the form of government grants in front of our face. That's right. Uh, anyway, there's been another kind of development that's really similar to this uh, story about Facebook. Now the military is also funding research on how to manipulate Twitter. Is that right? Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is coming from The Guardian, uh, which, of course, is notorious for uh, re- being the initial revealer of the uh, the Snowden revelations. Uh, and it's U.S. military studied how to influence Twitter users in DARPA funded 
research. Now, DARPA, of course, that's the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. These are the supposedly the brains, if there are any brains inside of government and the, the U.S. government. These are the brains. This is the the think tank that comes up with all the you know incredible strategies and incredible technologies, etc. Uh, and so they. Well, I'll, I'll go ahead and start reading the story. Yeah, please. Uh, the activities of users of Twitter and other social media services were recorded and analyzed as part of a major project funded by the U.S. military in a program that covers ground similar to Facebook's controversial experiment into how to control emotions by manipulating news feeds. Uh, research funded directly or indirectly by the U.S. Department of Defense's military research department, known as DARPA, has involved users of some of the Internet's largest destinations, including Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Kickstarter, for studies Pinterest? of social really? connections. Really? Yeah. All these housewives using Pinterest are a threat to national security? Seriously? Hey, I'm Britney sorry. Spears. I, don't, I don't mean to stereotype, well, but it, it is mostly women who used Pinterest, right? That's like so, so it seems. now. But DARPA had to spend millions to find out. What you just said. Oh, my God. Seriously. <laughs> I guarantee it. Seriously. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, but this this is actually, this is interesting because one of the points we made on last week's show when we talked about the Facebook uh, research was I said, I had said that, look, if you think Facebook's the only one doing this, you're crazy, you know, or if it's the only gateway for this kind of research, and it most certainly isn't. Uh, DARPA is obviously going all the way, you know. That's not to say. Now, granted, this yeah, is yeah. What, what is Google and Microsoft and Yahoo doing that you don't know about? Right? right. I mean, granted, like Twitter, this is DARPA doing the research. It's not necessarily Twitter themselves doing the research. As to where Facebook did it to itself, you but, know, all the way in. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. But um, with the details of this study, was Twitter actually involved? Did they have to do anything, or did the military just analyze kind of public data from Twitter? According to this story, no. That, that Twitter had, Twitter like, there, there was no, they didn't, like, change algorithms. They were more or less okay. just overlooking and studying and seeing how things work. Uh, so it's still not as dastardly mm. as as what Facebook did, because yeah. Facebook literally manipulated. But... This might be close. I'll keep reading. Uh, research funded directly, or I already read that part. Uh, while some elements of the multi-million dollar project might ra uh, raise a wry smile, research has included analysis of the tweets of celebrities such as Lady Gaga and Justin Bieber, because they are very dangerous individuals, I must admit, uh, <laughs> in an attempt to understand influence on Twitter. Others have resulted in the buildup of massive data sets of tweets and additional uh, types of social media posts. Several of the DOD-funded studies went further than merely monitoring what users were communicating on their own, instead messaging unwitting participants, participants in order to track and study how they respond. Okay, so they didn't, so DARPA didn't, you know, it didn't mess with an algorithm like Facebook did. Mm -hmm. But DARPA did get, get involved and, like, ask questions to your everyday Twitter person and see how they would respond to it and, and to, to see how they can manipulate it. So Are you saying, they wait a minute, are you saying that they paid Lady Gaga to tweet something specific? No. And, okay. No, I'm saying someone at DARPA would respond to one of Lady Gaga's tweets because, oh. I mean, you got to admit, responding to Lady Gaga's tweets is really important to national defense. <laughs> I mean, this is, you know, yeah. I, on the scale of 1 to 10, Lady Gaga is an 11 as far as terrorism goes, right? And so we need to pay our, ta you know, the U.S. tax dollars, the U.S. citizens, quote unquote, tax dollars needs to go to somebody tweeting at Justin Bieber and Lady Gaga. This is laughable. I mean, I, on one hand, like, if they're just using sort of publicly available data and like tw like Twitter is a public forum. I've heard it described as like a cocktail party where everybody can hear your conversation, right? And yeah, so it's the fire hose of information. Don't say anything on Twitter that you don't want anyone to be able to hear, right? Well, you, and fortunately, you can't say a whole hell of a lot because yeah. it's only 140 uh, characters. Yeah, well, yeah, that's so, true. But I mean, but this isn't necessarily, this sort of thing isn't new for DARPA to be doing. Uh, I don't remember the specifics of the story, but a few years ago, they talked about how, uh, you know, U.S. agents, we'll say, were uh, impersonating people on Facebook. And in some points, being agent provocateurs mm -hmm. at that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good to talk about this because the savvy person should know that it is very probable, in fact, uh, pos not, not just possible, but likely, that you have interacted with some kind of paid government agent posing as a friendly neighborhood liberty lover right. or a Bitcoiner on Twitter or Facebook, right? And the key is just to 
have a little bit of wits about you and don't incrim- try not to incriminate yourself if you can help it. Uh, and, you know, think about what you want to post on those things. Yeah. And I mean, really- it's hard. I, I'm guilty of that, too, sometimes oversharing. But, uh, you know, it it can really help to have a healthy sense of boundaries about what you share. Yeah. And I, I want to read more of the story, but I think that's an interesting point you bring up, because before somebody gets, you know, in a tizzy saying I should be able to say whatever I want. Yeah, sure, you can. But keep in mind that, look, with the way you interact on social media isn't real anyway. You're you're already curating your responses and your posts on these on the social media. That's not it's not you. You know, you're not being witty. OK, I mean, well, maybe you are being witty, but you're not. This isn't like, you know, your quick response. This isn't necessarily, you know, these are very carefully thought out things. Usually that that, that people decide to post or, or put up. Um, it's not really, you know. Uh, stream of consciousness as much as it can be well, that's, i suppose I, it's possible i oh i think we're um i think we're coming up on the end of the segment here if you can still hear us this is free talk live the sunday show and there's more coming up Retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise or is our monetary, is our unit, monetary we call the unit a reserve, note, a reserve force, note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchased is this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. It's not just zoning rules. It's everything. It's true. It's everything. It's, there's, there's so, many, so rules. many laws. You can't possibly know them. It's physically an impossibility to know the laws. You know not to hurt other people. I don't need a law telling me to do that. But the rest of them? Totally inaccessible. <laughs> it's true. It's written in legalese. If you don't have training in reading that crap, it might as well be a foreign language. Mm. And as you pointed out, it doesn't matter if you can read it. I thought I had them dead to rights. And <laughs> these bureaucrats, <laughs> they just, they just like, no, we do whatever we want here at the zoning board. Yeah, that's right. And you'll kiss our butts. Peon. Surf. You'll, <laughs> you'll slave. Do, you'll do what we say. Yeah. Why label them citizens? Oh. Why not just call it what it is? You're a surf. You're a slave. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night edition. That's better. Now we can hear the music. Yeah, there's music. That's yeah. great. <laughs> we had a technical problem. It was actually on our end, so uh, apologies for uh, questioning GCN. They were all, all set. It was us. But we got it worked out now. Everything's good. And we are live here on Sunday night. <laughs> That's right. Who, without Talk the government, live. who would turn up the volume? Exactly. You <laughs> who would pump up the volume yeah. and jam? Anyway, <laughs> this is Stephanie with you. And Brian. You can call us tonight at 855-450-3733. That is our ProXPN toll-free call-in line. You can also call us on Skype at LRN.FM. Now, this is a show uh, where you can call in and take control of the airwaves, bring up anything that's on your mind. So let's go right to the phones and talk to Ty listening in Memphis. Hey, Ty, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, guys. How you doing? Apparently, apparently the, uh, the problem affected the... Amp call in line too. I tried the amp call in line and it just rang off the hood. But well, that was probably because I yeah, we can hear you just fine. I I would when you called on the amp call in line before that was probably because I just wasn't paying attention to it because I was distracted by the other problems. So <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with the amp call in line for right, anybody okay. who wants to call in there. But uh, go ahead with what's on your mind, Ty. I just, uh, well, I wanted to talk a little bit about the border crisis. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talk about that lately. There's a lot of of uh, in, inflamed opinion going on. It's it's become a great big political football. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much you know about that crisis. I actually know very little. I've studied a little bit about it, but uh, apparently, the president or the White House website posted something intended to be a message to the quote-unquote illegals in the country right now saying that if these conditions, you know, if you meet these conditions, you don't need to worry about being deported. Well, apparently that message got down into South America. What so were the conditions? People, thousands were, I, I'm not sure exactly what those conditions were, but I think some of them had to do with children. You know, if there are children involved, you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about being deported. We're not going to deport you. So that, I think that's why there's a lot of children that have, have been basically shoved on trains or whatever to get up here to, be, to try to get into the country and wow. be like a refugee. It's just incredible how it creates so, these unintended consequences whenever government issues these diktats. You know, people just immediately find a way to game the system. Not that I think they should be deported in any way. I'm, I'm just saying like <laughs> kids' lives yeah. have been disrupted from wherever they're living to be transferred here so that their relative doesn't get deported because there's a kid involved now, right? Yeah, there's so many, so many levels of government screw-ups involved in this. First, the government in their home country is so screwed up, has messed up the system so much that they cannot live there. Mm -hmm. They've made life untenable for them there. That's why they want to come to America. Yeah. You know, if they could if they could make it there, they would stay there. You know, most people have an attachment to the place where they're born. Sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it, Or it, there's it, at it, least it, a cost if they were to move. Drives body out. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and exactly. And then then you've got you've got the political wranglings here in this country with the mixed messages, you know. Uh, there was a meme that was pasted or posted to uh, Facebook uh, that showed the mixed messages. You know, the, the message on the Statue of Liberty, at the the plaque on the Statue of Liberty about you know, bring us your your uh, tired or weary, your huddled masses, tempest tossed. You know, basically saying you know, we'll help you out. And then these people are at the border with these signs saying, go home. You know, stay away. So, yeah. In fact, I, I brought in a story. It's really to yeah, absolutely. I, I brought in a story right. that actually they they are there's groups planning on military style operations against militia anybody. Groups, yeah, right? militia groups. Uh, you know, these are private individuals, I guess you could say, who are planning on taking absolute action. Uh, you know, against anybody that tries crossing the border, whether it's in response to what you're talking about, Ty, or not, I, I'm not exactly sure. But I mean, one of the guys in this even said if, you know, he his orders to the other guys in the militia that are going to protect, and I guess they've set, a, set up a command center 
uh, along the border. Uh, that's how serious this militia is. They said, if you see an illegal, you point your gun dead at him right between his eyes and you say, get back across the border or you will be shot. Wow. Yeah. That's really violent. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, it's horrible. And, it, and you know, the, uh, the thing is, if there wasn't an entitlement program from government welfare, which the government should not be involved in charities, it should be private, mutual aid societies and things like that, you know, that way if people come to this country and they can support themselves or they find a community that's willing to support them, then they're welcomed. But because there is this government welfare program, the people who are forced, compelled to pay into it, feel like they're being ripped off by the immigrants, when actually they're being ripped off by their own government. Yeah, and it's it's so funny. The government uh, has been really successful at shifting the blame for things that they cause onto um, other groups, you know? So, like, uh, when immigrants come in and perhaps abuse the welfare system, nobody blames the government for setting up the welfare system. They blame the immigrants, right? Uh, you know, similarly, every time some some government does something, like, I remember one time I got into this conversation with somebody um, saying that I didn't want to do jury duty because I consider it cons- conscription. It's uh, taking me out of my life uh, where I can earn as much money as I care to work enough to earn and uh, putting me into a job that I don't want to do where I have to spend my own money and drive there and show up at 8 a.m. and do other things that I don't want to do. And uh, this person said, wow, well, I hope no one goes to jail because of you. Well, it, it's not because of me. It's because of the state. <laughs> right. They're the ones yeah. who are prosecuting <laughs> yeah, the crime, exactly. right? Right. So, yeah, the government is just great at getting people yeah, to not blame them for the problems that they actually cause. Yeah, I agree. And, and it makes it worse, too. Like, even try leaving the U.S. I mean, this this sword swings both ways. You know, try, try being a, an expat. Try getting out of here and staying out to where you don't have to actually pay anything for living abroad. Mm. Uh, and that is a mess. And yeah. they, they, treat you, they treat you just as, quote, unquote, bad as they do people trying to get in. I don't see any, that's a great point, Brian, because I don't see any outrage directed at the government for all the things they do to keep people within the borders. Oh, yeah. To keep Americans in, not to keep other people out. Everybody's complaining, oh, you don't do enough to keep people out. But nobody's complaining about the the cattle, the tax cattle being kept in, which is really ratcheting up. Go ahead. If you expatriate, they still want to charge you taxes here in another country. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you can't get in and you can't really matter, leave. You know, it's the, it's so weird. I mean, there's nothing. What system you ever can get has in, even, but you can't leave? <laughs> yeah, you know, that's what's so funny is this gets touted as this incredibly that, free uh, system. What system ever did this? What? Not even feudal lords did that. You you walked, you walked, you were gone. You came in, good, we get your taxes. You leave, and, we don't. And you never it's, agree to it. It's that, yeah. you know, if you happen to be born on this certain plot of land, well, suddenly you are a citizen. And I'm sorry, but I never signed any agreement that says, yeah, I'll pay the U.S. government a percentage of my income every year until I stop making income or die. And then when they die, they get more. Madness. <laughs> In exchange for a duty of protection, which they don't have. And there's, that's been proven over, over and over again. Ty, thank you for calling in today. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. Tell us your thoughts on immigration or anything else that's on your mind. Free Talk Live Sunday show, more coming up. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. 
congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Are you getting squeezed by the economic downturn? Hey, you were doing fine. Then, all of a sudden, you're having a tough time paying your family's credit card bills. Maybe you were downsized or even lost a job, but you still owe 10 grand or more in credit card bills. And you just can't afford the minimum payments anymore. We're here to help. We are the Genesis Debt Partners. We know the secrets to negotiate better terms with your creditors. Make a free 10-minute call right now and learn how we can help you get out of debt 800-981-7590 if you owe 10 grand or more in credit card debt and you want to learn how you can pay less and get out of debt faster call right now 800-981-7590 800-981-7590 get out of debt now 800-981-7590 While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show. Yes, we are live on Sunday night. It's me, Stephanie. And Brian. Doing the live anarchist edition of the sunday that's right free talk i usually give it a little punch like you know anarchist edition i'll but, let you do that right. from now on I'm, yeah i'm just a little too nice i'm the, like this you are nice mild you, mannered you lady uh, <laughs> anyway uh-huh. mark is a, <laughs> mark is away tonight he will be back next uh, sunday while well, he'll he'll probably be back before that actually i think he'll be on monday or whenever it is he comes back but right. tonight he's at a uh, a dinner so we are well, Mark's away. Stephanie and Brian will play. Yeah, that's right. Um, and you know, we were just we just had a caller in the last segment talking about uh, you know the immigration issue in the United States, people coming in, and then I had mentioned about getting out. Now the thing is, is look, there's really <laughs> there's a market for this for people trying to get out of the U.S. or trying yes. to get out of the pretty much the entire citizenship issue that the U.S creates yeah and solve it's re- this problem for me of yeah. uh, tax slavery <laughs> yeah and it's very much as far as i know unlike anywhere else in the world so i do have a solution and that is passports for bitcoin.com now i don't know if this is going to necessarily solve your tax slavery but this is a good thing to have is a second passport okay because what if your pass what if you honestly it will if you renounce your u.s citizenship yeah what, huh? your, if your u.s uh, passport means nothing for whatever reason that could be let your imagination run wild with that you are going to want a second passport okay so you can go to passports for bitcoin.com 
Bitcoin.com. Actually, if you if you, it's a plural, but if you just type in passport for Bitcoin.com, I found out that that'll take you there too. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, which is a, a good a good thing to have uh, going. So, but you can check out their Saint Kitts program uh, at Passports for Bitcoin.com, uh, and they you know obviously it's Passports for Bitcoin. They take Bitcoin mm. to be able to get a second passport, and believe me, that is some genuine freedom that I think everybody should be interested in getting. Boy, if you if you don't have your U.S. passport, get that. Yeah, at least. I mean, yeah. but, but they've then, got some information on their website. I mean, you and I don't know much about this, or at least I don't know much about sure. this. I'm definitely not giving advice on this topic. But if you go to their website, they will give you the rundown about sort of what is required, and then they'll work with you to help you get um, a St. Kitts passport, right? Right. So if you're considering renouncing your citizenship or just getting a second passport, this is the place to go passportsforbitcoin.com. All right, cool. 855-450-3733 is our number here on Free Talk Live, where you can call in and bring up anything that's on your mind. Uh, You can also call us on Skype at lrn.fm, and those are the ProXPN toll-free call-in lines. No matter where you are in the world, you probably want a good VPN, and ProXPN is uh, the one to go to. So speaking of uh, internet privacy, Brian, can you continue with this article that we started reading about um, the military, the U.S. military, DARPA, doing research on how to manipulate Twitter? Yeah, uh, and so part of one of the the real use cases that we're aware of is that they will, I mean, they're looking at what people say on Twitter, how these things escalate, uh, you know, because Twitter has been said to have you to you know to be very successful in Arab Spring in really a lot of uh, revolutions or evolutions around the world in toppling governments and who knows what else so I can see where DARPA would be interested in this but the it's it's kind of funny the areas that we know that they were looking in like they were looking at Lady Gaga's tweets and Justin Bieber's tweets and do they really think that Lady Gaga is going to spark a revolution <laughs> I of don't some know kind. but they would have people you know DARPA agents tweet in response to something that Lady Gaga would tweet to see what people to see what people would say in response to that. Uh, so and I don't. What were they looking for? I'm still unclear on the. Well, goal you know, of this I'm actually research. I'm a fan, and, and I mean this seriously. I'm a fan of Lady Gaga, and there's actually a song called uh, "Government Hooker," and off of her <laughs> not her latest album, but the album before mm-hmm. uh, that had uh, well, regard that doesn't matter. Anyway, that's the name of the song, and so I'm half wondering. It's like you know, how do you feel about a song being named "Government Hooker"? I wonder if that's what DARPA asked. What did they ask? I, I'm I, I'm unclear. Yeah, on I'm not what sure. The goal, like, I if know they even really know which which questions were theirs. Maybe. So the results of the study hasn't been published yet. Uh, no, th- this is kind of a, a release. I this mean, is this, like this, a leak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. I'll go on with the story here. Uh, several of the DoD-funded studies went further than merely monitoring what users were communicating on their own. Uh, instead messaging unwitting participants in order to track and study how they responded. That's what we were just talking about. Shortly before the Facebook controversy erupted, DARPA published a lengthy list of the projects under its Social Media and Strategic Communications program, including links to actual papers and abstracts. So not exactly a leak, but this is something that they they published out there. So they're in control of what actual information went out. Boy, okay. wow. Yeah, so the, we don't... The thing about publicly funded research that is so-called, I mean... Let's call it what it is. It's funded by the government, which gets right. its, which derives its money uh, through extorting people and getting them to pay under duress. Uh, and the the idea with that kind of research, if it's funded by tax money, is that everybody is supposed to be able to benefit from that research because they all sort of paid for it. Mm-hmm. And it's supposed to be published in publicly accessible journals. There, there's a policy with that about the uh, a policy about that with the National Institutes of Health, which funds pretty much all of the biomedical research that goes on here. Um, So, you know, this is, this definitely goes against that idea, right? If they're doing research, but they're basically just using it for their own benefit, but they're funding it with stolen money. Yeah. uh, The project list includes a study of how activists with the Occupy movement use Twitter, as well as a range of research on tracking internet memes. Uh, maybe they oh like my do, God, they might like the doge they're tracking in internet <laughs> memes they've and, got nothing better to do yeah and some about understanding how influence behavior liking following retweeting happens on a range of popular social media platforms like pinterest twitter kickstarter dig and reddit now this is kind of the weird thing for me is that you know a lot of people don't notice this but most social media exists almost solely unless with your actual typed response exists in a world of extreme positivity and i don't know if that's i I don't know how much that's on purpose or what and what i mean by that is that on twitter 
you can hit favorite. You can't hit on, you know, a dislike. Right. Just like on Facebook, you have like, you can't hit dislike. Mm. There are no options for any kind of like negative. Except on YouTube, you can hit dislike on YouTube. Yeah, you can hit thumbs down on YouTube. Right, which is interesting. And in, in fact, equally interesting because YouTube is notorious for having the most, you know, vile and toxic yeah, negative, uh, uh, negative trolls. Res- <laughs> trolls and responses out there. Uh-huh. So I don't know. Maybe this is just the maybe the fact that you can only like and retweet and whatever else is just uh, just a way to stem off trolls. Maybe that's the idea. But even that is some degree. I, well, maybe maybe that's going too far. But I could see where some people might call that manipulation in and of itself, is that you are required to live in this world of, of positivity. It's a moments. game, and it has rules, you know. Sure. Each social media network is is a game, and they, I guess they're just trying to figure out how to win at that game, whatever that means. Yeah. But it's disturbing regardless. Like, We're, if this is just a boondoggle, it's then it's a total waste of money. You know, if they're just trying to figure out what makes the Doge meme viral, or yeah. <laughs> what makes the picture of that roasted cauliflower go viral on Pinterest... And right. everybody repins it or whatever. Everybody pins it. Well, you, you know, know I, then then that's just a waste of money and that's bad. Right. But if it's trying to actually influence people's behavior, then it's also insidious and also possibly a waste of money, too. Yeah. <laughs> so either way, you slice it just like that roasted cauliflower. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's not good. No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it, this is crazy. And when but when you it's when you combine it, I think. With other studies that DARPA has had in the past, that things really start to look nuts. If you combine it, maybe they're not supposed to be related at all. But uh, I know you're aware of this one. Actually, Ben Swan is the guy that reported on it, which was they were trying to figure out, DARPA was figuring out how to kind of control the narrative in religious groups. And so that how could you manipulate? And that those were the, pretty much the exact words they were using is how to manipulate yeah. religious groups, how to manipulate masses, what causes people to to feel euphoric, what causes people to to, you know, swing this way and that. And, you know, when you combine that with this, it looks like an overarching picture of how do we control the masses? Well, yeah. I mean, the thing about that is I think that they would love to be able to do it. But the question is, is it possible? I mean, you you worked in psyops in the military. Yes. Do you think that it was an easy thing to do to just influence mass opinion? No, it was not easy at all. Yeah. Though, granted, I didn't have, none of us had these kind of tools. But, but would these tools make it that much easier? I still think it would be a very difficult thing, and that's what gives me comfort. But I'll, I'll say this. Think? Google doesn't understand me at all. Is it possible for the government to control people's thoughts? More coming up here on Sunday Free Talk Live. One little joint supplement. You know this powerful little pill is great for your joints. It even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility. But the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't give you the joint relief you're looking for. Until now. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. It's the number one selling joint supplement at GNC. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-608-9424. Instaflex provides powerful, effective joint relief for your knees, hands, even your hips. Prove it to yourself by calling now for your complimentary sample. Instaflex is available at GNC, Walgreens, and CVS, but you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-608-9424. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample, 1-800-608-9424. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. While my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter how serious or trivial. 
Legal. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1 855 340 save that's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com that's lsprotection.com results will vary from case to case free press publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in june 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace freedom love and liberty fpp also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom oriented material fpp brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free. This is Free Talk Live. It is the live Sunday night edition. The anarchist edition, because uh, Mark is away today, and it's so anarchistic and so lawless and so uh, <laughs> scofflaw that we've actually had a a guest crash the party, who isn't normally here on Sunday nights, but is a Free Talk Live host. Hey, That's Johnson. Right. Johnson's Just here with us. Just crashing in anarchist style. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Rolling in like a bear cat. Yeah, no, we weren't going to let on any. We weren't going to let anybody else. On that would not be anarchist. anarchist style. <laughs> no, that would be status style. <laughs> Rolling in like a ball of peace and love. <laughs> How about that? Like a furry kitten. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Stephanie here with you, and uh, Brian's here too. And of course, too. Brian. We kind of didn't do the normal free talk live round table introduce ourselves we'll do that the rest of the night it's anarchy yeah. we can't yeah, exactly <laughs> there is no order whatsoever <laughs> we'll we'll anarchy names. is order <laughs> yes right <laughs> <laughs> uh anyway i want to tell you about pro xpn now admittedly pro xpn wouldn't necessarily keep you from the the harm of darpa's monitoring of twitter but it would keep you from them monitor, monitoring any data that you're sending up from your computer. It would keep, a, you know, everything that's coming up client side, you should be in really good shape. And so I want you to check out ProXPN because it's a VPN service. This is the first line of defense for your online security, in my opinion. And they use nothing but the best. They use OpenVPN, which is trusted by the geeks. It's open source. It's been checked out. There's no NSA code in there, as we're aware of. Uh, it's really the way to go. So I want you to check out ProXPN.com slash FTL. You can use the code FTL20. Believe me, this will work on anything you've got. You're going to get 20% off with that with that discount code. Okay, but it'll work on Windows, OS X, even Linux. It works on Android, works on iOS. You take your pick. It works on it. You can have it running all the time. And personally, I, I kind of recommend that you, that you do that. Uh, so proxpn.com slash FTL. Check it out. Use the code FTL20. Or you can even use Bitcoin, and you will get an even greater savings and it will cost you less than a trip to mcdonald's yep. a very cheap trip to mcdonald's at that 
It's like a prophylactic <laughs> for the internet. That's Practice right. Practice safe browsing. The, I absolutely. Use, I use ProXPN daily. Yeah, when you when you have InfoSex, you want to use a VPN. Yeah. Good that, one. That's S E C. S. Exactly. Yeah, not S-E-X. Anyway. So 855-450-3733. Sorry, I'm now imagining InfoSex like, talk factually to me, baby. Like, Make just, it encrypted. Just tell, yeah, yeah. Just, just tell me some things from Wikipedia. Like, I, you know, like, info, well, just picture info it. InfoSex. You know, just the info part. I mean, a VPN is like putting a condom on your Ethernet connection. You know, that's, that's, really, exactly. that's what it is. Exactly. And ProXPN offers nothing but the best. Nothing but the best, yes. Uh for your pleasure. Anyway, um, <laughs> 855-450-3733. This is going to be fun. I can tell. That is the Pro XPN toll-free call online where you can call about anything that's on your mind. You can also call us on Skype at lrn.fm. And uh, let's take some calls, shall we, gentlemen? Uh, let's talk first with David in North Dakota. Hi, David. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind tonight? Hi. Hi, thank you. Yeah, I'm... Um, uh wondering if you can can talk to me about this because nobody else will so you're like my last chance wow maybe. oh boy um, this is going to be ugly <laughs> it's been me for so long and i i can't find anybody to talk to me about it but this it goes back to the benghazi incident with the fact that chris stevens the uh, ambassador to benghazi was openly gay and um i i know that because they mentioned that on the news when it first happened and uh, and then I never heard it again. And so I looked it up online, and there's pictures of you know one of his partners and stuff, and and there's actually pictures of what they his captors took of what they were doing to him before they killed him. And they do these things to gay people. And and why would the United States send a gay, openly gay ambassador to a place where they kill gay people? Unless they wanted him dead, mm. that's I, a good I, question. I can't understand that, and it seems like it seems like a really important factor, and maybe even the reason why for that uprising. And why would he agree to go? But right? Would, was it, I don't understand why. What, where's the gay community? I mean, wouldn't they be angry about that? Yeah. Well, I had no idea about that. What do you think? I, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I just can't believe it's not been brought up by anybody. It's, yeah, it's been discussed. Uh, I think Huffington Post talked about it. What Was this 2012 when that happened in Libya, right? The Benghazi thing? Sounds about right. Yeah, okay. Um, I know Huffington Post did talk about it. The White House really apologized. They seem to be somewhat aware that, that he was gay. But I agree that that's really odd like that is not a good move i mean there's there's very few countries in the middle east or you know in that area that that you could that a openly gay person could be and uh yeah i i, I concur i think it's a dumb move well brian you're good at uh, weaving conspiracy theories well, i mean what, what, <laughs> come up with something on the fly oh maybe they wanted him dead i mean well, it, it's hard to believe this was an attack yeah i mean did he know what did he know? I mean, to me, honestly, it looks like the United States murdered Chris Stevens. Well, I, I don't know the last did, time that a diplomatic compound did. had ever gotten successfully attacked and to where somebody died in that instance. I mean, look, the U.S. military, the U.S. in general, lies about the numbers of people that die all the time. They're always significantly higher. I can say that personally. I'm a veteran. I know the numbers. OK, uh, they do that. But yeah. in, in this case, I don't know. I, I've just never heard of a diplomatic compound successfully getting attacked and it happening. It it just seems I don't know. I agree with you. It seems too good. Or it could be a sac you know, a sacrifice made if, if they wanted to kill him, right? That that's one thing, but they could have also been trying to start a conflict and trying to uh damage relations with that particular country intentionally. Mm. Yeah. Sure. You know, maybe right, not because I mean, wouldn't wouldn't they take that wouldn't they take that as a as a great insult that you would put this gay person in the middle of our, you know, and give him, you know, honor and you know, in a in a society where we don't honor people like that. Sure, and, you but know, also uh, rallying people know. over here against that country. In other words, rallying people by using, you know, having that being in the media over here mm. would rally people against that particular country, you know. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, right, especially right. considering Libya's, the history between the US, U.S. and Libya since the 80s mm -hmm. is so ugly. There's really, to do anything, anything at all to, that would set off 
you know, a nation like that is really scary. And in fact, you know, something else, uh, when I was in the military, I traveled to many, many countries, and you got a pretty big book, a pretty big, uh, pretty big, you know, printout essentially, of this is what you don't do when you go to this country. You don't show the bottom of your feet. You don't burp here. You don't do this. You don't do that. How the hell do you not know you're sending a gay man over to Libya where that's a that's a death sentence? I, I agree. I, I don't. I, it doesn't make sense. I'm with you. Yeah. Mm. David, thank you for yeah, uh, bringing yeah. this up. You know up? what it reminds me of? Yeah. Uh, I'll give you a quick story from the Bible that it reminds me of when, when King David, uh, you know, he's been with Bathsheba. Oh yeah. And then he wanted her husband to be killed. Yeah, he and wanted he Bathsheba. Saw her bathing on the rooftop, and it. Yeah. Ugh, what a perv. Yeah, that's right, right, right. And and so he sent her husband out to the front lines and told his general to withdraw from him so to make sure he, he died. Killed. And that's exactly what they did. Yeah, to make sure he died. And 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 I mean, David was held accountable for the murder of Uriah. Mm. You know, and it's like the United States did exactly the same thing for Stevens, and he was abandoned. You Interesting know? points, David. Uh, yeah, th- thank you for calling in about this tonight. I appreciate but, you bringing that up. I hope we were bad. able to thank you talk for to you. With- yeah, <laughs> sure. No, it able- is. It's weird. I mean, well, there's. I think there's a couple deaths because Sean Smith died as well, uh, and uh, it, it's yeah, it's weird. I agree. I hadn't really thought about it until the caller mentioned Me it, but it, it is weird. Yeah, Brian, you mentioned uh, Libyans in the media since the 80s, and uh, oh yeah, my brain just immediately jumped to my Bible, Back to the Future, and, uh, <laughs> and just that the scene in the uh, you know with oh, it, it must be the Libyans, <laughs> right, right, and they, they found me. They're coming <laughs> for the uranium, and or the, the guy plutonium. you know coming out of the top of the truck with the rocket launcher, just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we haven't had good relations with them for a while. No, it's a long, long time. Yeah, to do anything at all, really, to set them off is it's hard not to consider it intentional. Let's go back to the phones and talk to Jim listening in New Mexico online. Hey, Jim, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Yeah, hello. Thank you. Well, I'd just like to make a quick comment. You know, I mean, we all know that government is bad, but it seems to me that we could uh, improve it by eliminating dual citizens from serving in that government, you know, that is supposed to be representing us. You know, and ha- i.e. Uh, dual citizen Israeli that, uh, hmm. you know, are voting for the benefit of their own country rather than the United States and actually are promoting policy that is damaging to our particular country here. Who is a dual citizen that is yeah, in the government? Right really? I can't think of anyone. That's why I'm asking. Well, the, Dem- <laughs> the Democratic Party is full of uh, dual citizen Israelis. I mean, if you sure. I mean, people voting. So you're saying take away their voting right. rights entirely? Take away the voting rights of all dual citizens? Or are you talking about people actually serving in government? I don't think they should be serving in government. How they many are be there? Serving in government. Well, uh, he, he claims the Democratic Party's full of them. 50. 50. 50. Jim, hang on the line, if you would. 50. I'd like to explore this a little bit more, if you wouldn't mind. Hold the line, please. This is Free Talk Live, and uh, we're going to talk about this coming up here in just moments 855-450-3733 dual citizenship it sounds like kind of a good idea if you want to maybe escape the u.s at some point uh, but we'll talk more and uh okay Sunday, something in this facility breaks bends or bursts granger's got our back 20 cases of disc springs from granger.com new rotary encoder ordered on granger's mobile app a dozen splash goggles from the local granger branch what more could you want in life Granger has over 1 million products for all our facilities' needs. 1 million. That's a 1 followed by six zeros, kid. Everything we need whenever we need it. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Hi, Chuck Woolery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. 
When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated. So send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash your family today. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, July 11th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,338, silver opened at $2,145, and Bitcoin is trading at $628. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more at GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. And support comes from Bitmain Tech, creators of the newly released Antminer S2 Bitcoin Miner. One tera hash and only 1,000 watts. Order yours online today at bitmaintech.com or call them up 844-BITMAIN. That's 844-248-6246. In the news, on Wednesday, the alleged creator of the online marketplace Silk Road was denied his bid for dismissal of a federal indictment, which accuses him of laundering money and being involved with illegal drug trade. Ross Ulbricht denied charges of money laundering, stating that bitcoins are not money. U.S. District Judge Catherine Forrest disagreed, stating that money could be laundered using the online cryptocurrency. Judge Forrest said Ulbricht played the role of intermediary between website users, acting as a sort of godfather. Ulbricht is facing four counts of conspiracy, including engaging in a continuing criminal enterprise, which carries a maximum sentence of life behind bars. The trial is scheduled to begin November 3rd. A study by the Crime Prevention Research Center found that a little over 11 million Americans now have permits to carry concealed weapons, up from 4.5 million in 2007. According to the report, violent crime rates dropped by 22% while permits to carry rose 146%. Increasing gun ownership, litigation, and new state laws have all contributed to the rise in concealed carry permits, reported KSAZ. Currently, Florida has the most active concealed carry permits, with Texas coming in second. Wichita Falls, Texas has become the second city in the state to recycle treated wastewater to help bolster drinking supplies, according to CBS News. Located near the Oklahoma border, the city began reusing millions of gallons of water at the River Road Waste Treatment Plant that's been purified to meet government standards. The recycled water is sent through a 12-mile pipeline into the Cypress Water Treatment Plant where it receives additional purification. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code LIBERTY, and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Online at affordablesound.com, or call them up, 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, July 11th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Former NSA contractor Edward Snowden officially filed a petition to extend his asylum in Russia for another year, as reported by the Russian Times. The Federal Migration Service is responsible for deciding whether Snowden will be allowed to stay, but has not yet commented on the application. While Snowden has planned to take asylum in Cuba, he ended up in Moscow on the evening of June 24, 2013, from Hong Kong, after he was unable to make his destination without being apprehended by U.S. authorities. The whistleblower told NBC in an interview that he would like to return to America if it were an option, but is afraid he would be unfairly convicted of espionage. Former New Orleans Mayor Ray Nagin was sentenced Wednesday to 10 years in prison for bribery, money laundering, and other corruption during his two terms as mayor which included the chaotic years following the Hurricane Katrina disaster of 2005. Nagin was convicted of accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars from businessmen who wanted work from the city or the mayor's support for various projects. 
Among the bribes, Nagin accepted free vacations, cash, and truckloads of free granite for his family business. The former mayor is required to report to federal prison in Oakdale, Louisiana in September. The U.S. Department of Agriculture granted a special permit allowing Australian researchers to transport genetically modified bananas to the Midwestern state of Iowa. Scientists in Brisbane genetically altered the bananas to contain more beta-carotene, which converts to vitamin A, and are paying volunteers in Iowa $900 each to test whether or not they work. The bananas, commonly used for cooking in Africa, are intended for the people of Uganda to help solve vitamin A deficiency in the country. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Cory Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock Central Time at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Broker Jank, Precious metals at reasonable rates since 1977. Online at rrbi.co. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, July 11, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Following this afternoon's arrest of Congress on the charge of over 23 million counts of manslaughter, our reporter spoke to Mark Westnick from Savannah, Georgia, just one of the many Americans that has lost a loved one due to the legislative branch's criminal negligence. Because of Congress, my 23-year-old son died two years ago in Afghanistan. My nephew, he lost his leg in Iraq in 2006, and my brother died in Vietnam in 1969. Congress killed my family. Defense attorneys for the now incarcerated 538 member group have dismissed the claims made by Westnick and other victims and released a statement saying their client has been, quote, a pillar of the national community for over 200 years and completely innocent of any and all wrongdoing. Keep checking theonion.com for more as this story develops. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You're listening to the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And me, Johnson. And Brian. Yep, Mark is out tonight. Johnson is joining us. Johnson, thank you for crashing the party. Although <laughs> it wasn't really crashing because we were kind of forewarned that you were coming over. That I was going to just <laughs> come in like a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> it was more like a uh, pleasant, pleasant surprise. Uh, 855-450-3733 is the number to call if you want to talk to us tonight. Or you can call on Skype at lrn.fm. And, uh, well, I guess we'll just get right back into the calls as we kick off the second hour of tonight's show. We were talking with Jim in the last hour. And, Jim, thank you for holding. Uh, Jim, you said that you were kind of uh, upset about dual citizens, specifically U.S.-Israeli dual, dual citizens that were in the U.S. government and thought that you shouldn't you didn't think that dual citizens should be able to serve in the U.S. government or be in it. Is that right? Well, I do. What about you? Well, we actually did some research on this um, during the break. I, you know, personally, I, I, I'll reserve my opinion for after this, but Johnson, what did you dig up while we were on well, the Well, I found ZionistJewFedReserve.com, which what has, the hell? <laughs> it has the scoop, apparently, on this issue. Um, I also found that apparently there's also another, there's a list of, uh, of some folks who are in government who have this... Uh, dual citizenship with um, Israel and the United States that are currently serving in the government. And it is, he's correct. There are uh, quite a few uh, current politicians who do have this uh, dual citizenship. Well, you know, Israel is one of the dual citizenships that you can get by just being Jewish, right? Well, it's, if you're American to get an Israeli citizenship, you can, uh, you know, you can apply for Aliyah, which Mm -hmm. is the law of return and you can get, uh, citizenship with with Israel. The other way around isn't so easy. In fact, there's been a real issue with that recently, to where uh, a lot of Israelis coming into America can't get visas. And I mean, there's there's a whole slew of what issues is with new? that. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you know, it seems to me like there are probably a lot of people in the government, Jim, like I, you know, Paul Wolfowitz and um, Dick Cheney and George W. Bush, especially come to mind, and Condoleezza Rice that that did make these policies that are very pro-Israel, like all the neocons, essentially. But as far as I know, they were all evangelical Christians, and none of them had dual citizenship with Israel. So, you know, someone could have an allegiance to Israel without having dual citizenship. 
Oh yeah, yeah. They 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 know who uh, they know who writes the checks. You know, I mean, who writes uh, the checks? Controls the purse strings, gets them elected. So you know, it's just a matter of. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, Jim, Jim, represent? I'm curious. I'm, Jim, is this like the the idea? And and I'm asking seriously. I mean, is this the idea that Israel is kind of controlling American foreign policy? Is that sort of what you're getting at? Well, yeah. APAC is the most powerful lobby in Washington, and uh, you know these politicians are fawning all over each other to, uh, well, to see, get the blessing of these Israelis. Okay. And, uh, you know when a Jew goes. To Synagogue, they they sing the Israeli national anthem to begin their service, you know. And how can they uh, possibly represent the best interest of the American people? Well, when they d- sing the national anthem. Well, Jim, here, here's here's a here's a problem. Jim, Jim, here here's a problem I I have with the with that idea that somehow Israel is really calling a lot of the shots. And the problem is Jonathan Pollard. Do you know Jonathan Pollard? Have you heard his story? Oh sure, yeah. Uh, he's one of the worst spies that's ever uh, ever betrayed the United States. Sure. Okay, but he was working and for United Israel. States. Netanyahu has married. consistently right. yep. Netanyahu has consistently asked for him to be released because uh, he's been in jail. He's been in prison for almost thirty years now, uh, and the U.S. We just won't let him. this guy go. Now, if Israel's calling the shots and Netanyahu's saying, "Hey, let this guy come to Israel," how does how does that gel? How does that make sense? Well, apparently they they're not completely in control, thank God. You know, we still have some patriotic politicians there that are holding back, especially I think in the uh in the FBI. You know, there's a lot of opposition to the Israeli uh power structure coming out of the FBI from what I understand. You yeah, know, I, I don't mean, really like what the government does in general. I mean Yeah, even the ones that just have American citizenship, I mean, I'm not really thrilled with any politician no. I mean, I see what you're saying, but I just, you know, I don't think anyone has really my best interests in mind when we're talking about the government. Yeah, I don't think it goes either way, because also in Israel, um, now, I mean, I'm ethnically Jewish, I've and I visited Tel Aviv, there's quite a group of people there that, and some of them hold pretty high office in the Knesset, they don't want... U.S. involvement in Israel. This is actually quite a coincidence. Okay. You guys are both formerly Jews, and I'm actually formerly a lizard, so we have all our bases covered. <laughs> well, so, when, you, when did you renounce your lizardship? Yeah, I just it was a few years back, and uh, you know, so we really have the former lizard Jew conspiracy covered here. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Uncle Uncle uh, Sam, uh, I understand Israel has like a, a twenty-five or thirty billion dollar budget surplus. You know, but we're still we're still sending them hundreds of millions and billions of dollars a year. And right, but but let me. What the point I was trying to make is that most Israelis don't want that money that the U.S. is sending over because they know how bad it makes them look. They know how how much it makes the powder keg that is the Middle East uh, get closer to exploding. They don't want the U.S. involvement there. And so it, it's, I don't think any of us. No, no, right, right. So, so the point I'm getting at is that it's governments en masse, regardless of what country they're in, that is causing any of the issues that we're talking about, regardless of influence. Uh, it is the fact that government exists, that the that the monopoly on force exists, that any of these problems can mm-hmm. can even occur. So, I mean, how do you feel about that, Jim? I agree. Cool. All right. Well, I agree. You know, and yeah, dual systems that make it worse, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, Jim, thank you for calling in tonight. Appreciate your thoughts. 855-450-3733. Sorry, the lizard Jew thing, I just... <laughs> Sorry, things off here. No, no, no. Uh, You know, on a certain extent, I do agree with him. I mean, the dual citizenship with any other government, but I mean, it's... It's the government really... in general. It doesn't really matter, you know, if the, so they're a dual citizen. It's like they're they're in this structure where they have this monopoly on violent force, Mm. does it really matter if they're also part of another gang? Yeah, well, I mean, it's very telling, actually, the fact that I don't blame anyone for wanting a dual citizenship. And, of course, you're going to go for the one that's easiest to obtain. So if you happen to be Jewish, you could apply for Aliyah and get an Israeli passport if you're an American citizen or whatever. And, you know, it's just telling that politicians want to do that because if they really thought this country was so great, why would they even want to have? It's like I'm in the Bloods, the Crips, the Mafia, the, yeah. the Cosa Nostra, the, the yeah, I'm the protect- Yakuza. I'm protected no the, matter what. 
you know, the whatever the other <laughs> Latin gangs are. There's so many. <laughs> MS-13, I'm in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to Dana listening in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hi, Dana. You're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Um, I wanted to comment about the gentleman who called about um, the theory on Chris Stevens. Sure. Um, I Believe me, I have no friend of this current administration, and the last one botched things up too pretty good. But this one is just, this is unbelievable what we're seeing in our lifetime. That being said, I don't think this current government murdered Stephen, but I think they have blood on their hands. Um, the reason why I don't think they did this deliberately, um, and again, no friend of Obama's over here, but uh, or Hillary's or the, John Kerry's current one, Joe Biden, any of them. But um, from the research I was able to obtain, not tonight, but previously, months as well, actually, when this first happened, was Christopher Stevens had really, really deep um, um, mutual respect and 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 um, when I say loving relationships, loving in a caring sense with those people that would have been our opposition, not the ones that killed them, not the terrorists. But he had made very, very good inroads with a lot of these people that he was working with over there. And so um, I don't, it, you know, it, being that that's the case, it, it would be silly for our government to send him over there just because he was gay, you know, and that they knew it because he actually had very good relationships over there. He was yeah. doing a fantastic job. Dana, uh, thank it, you. It, thank you for your thoughts tonight. I appreciate that. We're coming up on the uh, we're short on time here, but thank you for your thoughts. And maybe we'll talk about this more in just moments here on Free Talk Live Sunday edition. 855-450-3733. More coming up. One little joint supplement. You know this powerful little pill is great for your joints. It even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility. But the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't give you the joint relief you're looking for. Until now. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. It's the number one selling joint supplement at GNC. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-608-9424. Instaflex provides powerful, effective joint relief for your knees, hands, even your hips. Prove it to yourself by calling now for your complimentary sample. Instaflex is available at GNC, Walgreens, and CVS. But you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-608-9424. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample, 1-800-608-9424. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas 
of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state And you're looking for some real estate Well, I know a guy who's really great It's the realtor Mark Warden Do you want a home with 20 acres A lakeside cabin Any takers for renters Buyers and sellers too Mark Warden is the guy for you PorcupineRealEstate.com This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And me. And me, Johnson. <laughs> and Brian. Sorry. Anarchy Brian. night. We can't go in order. I know. I should have just let you go. No, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. I'll well, get it right from now on, believe me. We're going to let the market decide next that's time. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Wait, do you normally go number two when Mark is on? Yeah, I'm normally ah, where you're sitting. See, that's the so thing. And of course, go. if you go to cam.freetalklive.com. Wait, you go number com. two when Johnson, where Johnson is sitting? <laughs> I, hey, I don't wear underwear. You can't confirm or deny that statement, huh? Oh, and this is Free Talk Live, a show where you can call about anything that's on your mind at 855-450-3733. By the way, um, Johnson, since you're here, this is a good way to uh, good time to promote this. Uh, you can get archives of Free Talk Live going hey. way back in time at archives.freetalklive.com. Now, MP3 archives are there posted individually for you to download going back to 2006, which is a lot of content. That's like thousands of hours worth of shows, all available for free at archives.freetalklive.com. But they also have the torrents of the first two seasons of Free Talk Live, which is back in 2002, was mm-hmm. it? Yep. So it, Free Talk Live has been on the air, of course, for over a decade. And Johnson was pretty much there from the very beginning in Florida, where been. Ian Excuse and Mark started out there. Or it was Ian. Who who was the very first crew? It was Mark, Ian. Mark, well, actually, Ian. no, it was Manwich and Ian. Yeah, Manwich. Mark yeah. used to be Manwich. <laughs> Ian Manwich, and then there was uh, two two people uh, originally, Mike Nimola and Todd Steele. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. You know, in fact, if you become an amplifier, I think you get access to like special video and some special audio. And some of that video, I've seen Johnson. With a ponytail. Yes. Oh, an, my. an epic ponytail. Yeah. I think Ian had a ponytail then too, didn't he? He did at one point. And not not when he not since radio days, but before then when he was like a metalhead. <laughs> wow. Well, if you want to take that trip back in time, go to archives.freetalklive.com I, I and should, prepare to be amused. Yeah, we should warn people that it is not the same show. It's more <laughs> yeah. like no. a hot talk, love liney kind of radio show or like the monsters, but I don't know if how many people will even know if I mention the monsters. There was like this show in Florida called Monsters of the Mo- Midday, I think, or Morning or something like that. And they were, huh. it's more of like that real morning, uh, you know, morning jock radio kind the of stuff. The Quiet Storm of 98.7. Yeah. yeah. No, not that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's more like the, like the animal, like you're listening to, hey, you know, like, like okay. you know, like zany We're bits get and stuff like that. crazy in here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's more like, like, hey, you know, what? tell us about your relationships. And, you know, oh, it God. wasn't like the libertarian radio show. It was like, it would go to libertarian stuff, but a lot of the show, like I'd say almost 50% was... What's your favorite kind of hamburger? You know, because like, <laughs> people would call in. It was free talk live. People would actually call in. I mean, now it's like, hey, you can call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about. No one actually does that. People call in to talk about libertarian and political issues for the most part. Right. Um, 
the concept of the show is the same, but back then people would call in and be like, you know, I want to talk about how bad people tip. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> people would actually call about all sorts of different topics, and and it was a very different show. Yeah, I really enjoy. I've listened to a lot of those, and mm-hmm. I actually really enjoyed that format. I mean, Free Talk Live has obviously grown and changed, but um, one thing was to, great. that was that's just really interesting to discover, at least for me, and I know it's not necessarily intentional, but that Ian is actually quite funny. Like yeah, I find is, Ian yeah. to be very, very cleverly funny, <laughs> and I don't think most people expect it. And so when you hear Ian just just rattle off a, a joke, like right off the bat, just right off the cuff, it's it's really it's entertaining. He's witty, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, this is a show, a show where you can call in about anything that has not changed, of course, and you can do so at eight five five. Four five zero three seven three three. And Brian, did you have a message to bring us right now? Okay, well, let's go right to the phones and talk to David in North Dakota. Hey, David, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, um, I like to show your uh, what you would say a break from conservative <laughs> radio. But anyway, um, John Bolton, he's a um, dual citizen too. And, okay. Um, and what is his Gavin, position in the government? I try yeah, not to ambassador. watch the news. He's I... an ambassador to the UN. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was up with Bush when Bush was in office and blah, blah. But anyway, um, on the Benghazi thing, the ambassador was running guns. The same guns that killed him was the guns he used to give the uh, rebels to kill Gaddafi. So, uh, so the claim him? is that yeah. Ambassador Stevens was running guns? Absolutely. I've never Absolutely. heard that. How, how did he smuggle them in? <laughs> wah, wah. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> through the, um, so-called embassy. Through the so-called embassy. Right. <laughs> so who was he running and the guns so, to? So if, if, like Eric Holden. The rebels that killed Gaddafi. It was an overthrow they were trying to do when they got this succeeded. And look at um, Libya now. What's going on in Libya now? And, and, and uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a mess. Mm. Just like everything we touch. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Li- yeah. Libya has been a mess since too, the 80s, no doubt. Like Eric, Eric Holland. Yeah. Um, so, so Eric let me, I want to, I want to be clear on this. It, it of, was when, when Stevens was killed, he was killed not by the rebel group he was bringing the guns to, but by an opposing rebel group of that rebel group. Is it, have I got, I think I might have said that confusing, was, but is that right? It was the weapons he was bringing in. It was the weapons he was bringing in because Gaddafi demilitarized or damn near shrink his military because he didn't want people to overthrow him. And they basically had no weapons in their country. Ambassador so-called Stevens was the one that brought in the guns and the same guns he brought in killed him. So I, I'm like, I don't care. If Eric Holder's guns that he ran to Mexico ends up killing him, why are we fretting over that? Well, I, I overthrow government and leave him alone. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Leave him alone. I, I mean, however this all went down and for whatever reasons it went down, I mean, it was more than Stevens that got killed, but like I mentioned, Sean Smith did as well. Uh, I mean, th- this is just shows when, when you go messing in areas that really you have no business. And really, yeah, the United States good. has no business doing anything over there. And a lot of honest politicians, uh, I know that's, a, that's an oxymoron, but they'll tell you that, that they have no business being there. Yeah, but... You see, I'm a guy, I, I totally um, sympathize with people that are seeking revenge for wrong that has been done to them. Most, of the, most people don't like that. But if you mess with me, I'm coming for you, period. <laughs> and, and, and if you go over to other people's countries telling them how to live, and this has been going on since after World War II, the overthrow of uh, Mossadegh and, and, um, and um, Iran, and then we expect the Iranians to love us? Come on. It doesn't make sense, David. Thank no, you for it, your call tonight. 855-450-3733. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I don't blame, or I shouldn't say I don't blame. I understand where a lot of forces in the Middle East are actually on the defense, not on the attack. Uh, now, that doesn't mean that, you know, going after somebody and, and you know, seeking revenge and death right. is going to restitute anything because yeah, it, won't. it won't. I hope most people, more people can start preaching forgiveness because, you know, otherwise we're going to be in perpetual war on this planet forever and ever. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the lack of forgiveness. And war is the health of the state. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's um, 
maybe we can continue this in a minute because I know Dana had said some stuff that we wanted to maybe respond to, but we do have some other people who want to weigh in. So let's talk to Andy. He's listening on Skype. Hi, Andy. You're on Free Talk Live. Evening. How are y'all? Doing great. What's on your mind tonight? Um, Are y'all familiar with John Green? No, I'm not familiar with John Green, but hang on to that thought because we're short on time, but there's more coming up here. So hold tight and we will find out who John Green is in a moment if we don't Google it first. But I'm sure Andy has something more interesting to say about him. This is Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733 is the toll-free pro-XPN toll-free call-in line. And there's more coming up here on the Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. I'm Mark Stevens of the No Stay Project, and are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're only helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, spread it. So get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Federal authorities are currently on high alert in Washington, D.C., following reports that hundreds of crazed sociopaths infiltrated the congressional chambers this morning. Mary Canley, a Capitol employee who managed to escape the House chambers, described the troubling scene to reporters. I saw all of them, about four to 500 completely deranged people, just rambling on about guns, the, the military, and money. Investigators say the lunatics, many of whom are believed to suffer from severe personality disorders, have locked themselves in the chambers for hours now, with no clear purpose or reasoning. I looked at one of them right in the eyes, and it was like he was empty on the inside, devoid of any emotion or feeling. It was horrifying. It's only a matter of time before they do something that really hurts someone. We believe these men to be manipulative and extremely dangerous. Luckily, they are also very disorganized, and there is a chance they may never be able to ever take any action at all. For more on this developing story, keep checking TheOnion.com. This is The Onion News Network. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition with me, Stephanie. Me, Who's going to take it? Oh, we think this was, that was I status. I'm right off you the bat. status. <laughs> I status because I just jump on it. <laughs> and of course, Brian. <laughs> yeah, and you can call us at 855-450-3733. Bring up anything that's on your mind tonight. Or Skype, LRN.FM. Although we did have like, okay, this is totally the anarchy edition because we literally had like three people try to call in on Skype at the same time. And I could only like... Putting calls on hold on Skype is like a little complicated, so I just ended up telling him, hey, call back. We're talking to Andy right now. Yeah, (laughs) do not ever expect Microsoft to multitask on anything. (laughs) Not effectively, anyway. Hey, Satya Nadella. I love that guy. And so I'm going to expect maybe that they might make some changes. Yeah, that yeah. Make sense actually, now. Uh, yeah, Microsoft uh, might really bring itself into the future very well. I was I was pleased with that. They've Sanchez. been making some amazing changes. That's I agree. All I, have to say about that. I agree. And if you want to see some really amazing change, you can go to Chicago. That's right. Your kind of town, Chicago. Uh, no, <laughs> that, that was an abstract to anybody. But um, I got it. Yeah. Uh, the North American Bitcoin Conference. This is going to be a big event, July 19th to the 20th. Uh, going to be a lot of liberty-minded speakers there. I imagine there will be speakers of all types, but uh, Kathy Reisenwitz will be there. Uh, I don't know if Jeff Berwick's going to be there. They keep saying he's going to be there. He but... said he's not going. I don't know if he's going to yeah, go Yeah, uh, anyway, Trace you, Meyer. You can be surprised if you yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, Trace Meyer will be there with Armory Wallet. Of course, Armory is fantastic. Uh, Peter Smith, blockchain.info. But it's going to be a great time, great speakers. Uh, actually, I think Will Pangman, who not a lot of people might not know his name, but he is a hell of a guy, and yeah, I think he he's organizes... doing an intro to Bitcoin. Yeah, he organizes the Milwaukee uh, Bitcoin meetup. But yeah. soon to move to New Hampshire. Yeah, but absolutely. First, the conference. That's right. And so Charlie <laughs> Lee from uh, Litecoin will be there. He's the, the creator of Litecoin. Mm. So if you are interested in the cryptocurrency space, you want to get to Chicago. And if you okay. can, you can drive there and put on sunglasses and make Blues Brothers references when you're about 106 miles away. So oh, you're you cool. Yeah. You're, you're cool at that point, no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh, yeah. So check. Oh, Jeffrey Tucker's even going to be there too. I mean, he he's That's always enough reason from Liberty to go. Yeah, he is a class act. Just a lot of fun to uh, to listen to. So anyway, uh, go check it out. The North American Bitcoin Conference. You can go to btcchicago.com and you can even get your tickets in Bitcoin. And that's July 19th to the 20th. Check it out. All right. We go back to Skype and we were talking with Andy. Andy, you barely had a chance to say one sentence before the uh, music bed came up for the last break. So continue with uh, what you were going to enlighten us about with uh, anarchist view of history. And David Green, was it? John Green. Uh, John Green. John Green. Yeah, John Green does these uh, interesting history lessons on YouTube. They're just kind of fun little 15-minute uh, history lessons. But uh, I'd recommend a lot of people go and or people go and watch his new one, which was a, he talked about an anarchist reinterpretation of civilization, and what he was talking about was the idea that people, he called them hill people, so these were people who lived on the fringes of, uh, like, say, agricultural valleys, um, that the current interpretation is these were savages that needed to be civilized by the farming societies, but he he put in that possible interpretation of, of the hill people is that they were actually running away from civilization, that they were trying to avoid things like wars or slavery or conscription or taxes or something like that. I keep just thinking hobbits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, actually, it would make sense because there is historical precedent for this. You have the, Wal- the Waldenses, the Waldensians, who are running away from the Catholic Church hundreds of years ago. They ran to the hills. This happens very often where when people are trying to get away from the powers that be, they run to the hills. Yeah, and this even happened in the United States or in North America. If you think about all of those mm-hmm. Scotch, Irish, and German immigrants yep. that Tennessee. got off the boat in 1750 and said, "We just got away from the king. You want me to pay whiskey taxes?" They all ran to Kentucky and North Carolina to live in live in Appalachia. Sure, mm-hmm. and you know, one of the this is one of my favorite things to talk about. Actually, is the one true anarchist quote unquote country on planet Earth, and that is Zomia. Uh, Zomia is an area in in uh, South Asia. I had never heard of it yeah, until and, you mentioned. Yeah. Right, and it's it's a hill area, you know, around the Himalayas and whichever. And look, these people, they can't get taxed. You know, the governments are trying mm-hmm. to, to, to corral these people, but they're nomads, and they live in the hills, and so it just makes everything so difficult. So again, I think you're. I think that's that's very interesting, uh, the idea that, that people in the hills weren't actually savages. They were the ones that were trying to get away from the, from the actual savages, that being the civilized. 
Hmm. Yeah, the uh, the John Green video does go into quite a bit of detail about Zomia, so uh, definitely check that out. If oh, you fantastic. Wanna. Yeah, so uh, cool. yeah, just a good recommendation for you guys. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. And then did you have something else you wanted to talk about? No. Something I mean, scaly? I got a bad I've got a bad lizard you infestation in my house. <laughs> oh, God. I'd get rid of them. I'd appreciate it. But other than that, have a good night, guys. <laughs> Bacon. Windex. Bacon. Just spray a little Windex on them. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Andy, for the call. <laughs> so I'm feeling self-conscious. Did I get that totally wrong when you were talking about the Scotch Irish coming in? I thought Kentucky, but I also was thinking Tennessee. Isn't that the same? I mean, were, I'm not mountains sure. Mountains Tennessee as well as, as Kentucky. I Where thought. they were running away. Yeah, running away into the mountains to grow weed and make you know whiskey. Yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> right. That's how the Appalachia kind of right. got settled. Yeah, I, th I think you're accurate. Doesn't about the Appala that. I mean, I thought the Appalachia also runs through ten the Tennessee area, but yeah, I, I believe you know. I believe so. So, but uh, it's my geography is not great. So sure, right? My, yeah, my my American geography is terrible anyway. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, um, but I, I think that's that's a really interesting case, and in fact, really. I recommend people contemplate, and you might not want to go too far with this, but contemplate how much civilization itself has allowed for so many of the atrocities that we have today as compared to if you were a society that did not have agriculture mm. uh, or whichever. Could you be centralized and controlled? Especially like, and I personally, I haven't seen the video. I want to see it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm look into that. Zomia and you'll see how even today in a modern world, how even a country like China just can't conquer a certain people because of the way they live. Yeah. You know, it, it really is like something that I've learned through learning about paleo diet or whatever, is that, yeah, it's kind of true. Until there was agriculture, people were hunter and gatherers. There really was no way governments could say, hey, give me 10 percent of your stuff because they didn't really have a lot of stuff that they stored up and saved up, really. But once there were grains, it was really easy to say, give me 10 percent of your rice, give me 50 percent of your rice. or Right. And it's you. tough to tell a person what to do when they don't live there when yeah. they're not like settled there yeah, they're just so it's interesting wandering. it's a thought it's a thought experiment right okay let's talk to patrick uh on skype hey patrick you're on free talk live hey how's everyone doing tonight doing great what's on your mind i've got i um i've got a question and i've also got an idea for a bitcoin based business i want to, to kind of hash it out with oh cool because i know he's the uh he's the tech golden stallion you know johnson's <laughs> a tech guy too <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and, Justin, yeah, definitely. So, and Stephanie's great with Bitcoin, no doubt about it. All right, Thank well, you. perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, my uh, my idea is, I know they've been shutting down. Um, China had the government in China has been shutting down VPNs for um, like the people who live in China. Correct. In the what, cities. What if we had like, a, right in the cities, not everywhere. But what if we had a uh, some kind of program to where you could loan out your computer's connection to the internet at night when you're not using it, and then just like you could like charge you know, some micro bits and someone could VPN through your computer. That sounds a lot like MadeSafe and what, what they're going to do, right? Doesn't it, Brian? Yeah, it, it's kind of similar. I, I like the idea. There's yeah. no reason that it can't exist outside of that, uh, you know, outside of MadeSafe. Um, because I heard like, like Chinese, like the Chinese government's like targeting like big time VPNs. Mm. So if you're just like, you know, hosting one or two people a night, you know, how, how quickly are you going to get shut uh, down? Probably not very fast. I don't know. Here's the, here's the problem with that idea is that, uh, and the reason why people might not want to do it is because they're going to be afraid of, if they're already afraid, you know, to use a particular VPN, which I know a lot of people are going to jump on board, but not everyone's going to want to throw themselves in front of the Chinese government. In other words, what if somebody does something on your connection while you're lending your connection out and it's traced back to your computer while you're VPNing your computer, and then suddenly you've got the Chinese government saying like, oh, you know, this this happened on your computer and we're we're now breaking down your door to- But what are they going to your... do about it all the way from China? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, you're talking about you're not talking about people loaning out their computers in China, like Chinese people. Right. Like people I live in the I live in the states. I can loan my computer's connection at night to a couple people in China. And I can no, not if they yeah. can't get to you. <laughs> not if they can't get to you through the firewall. The whole point I of the mean, why, why wouldn't they? I mean, I know they block some VPNs and I, but they block some sites, but why would they block my IP address because in particular? Because the whole point of the VPNs in China is to be able to actually get through the Great Firewall of China and actually reach out beside IPs, right? Well, how are they going to? You know, I think this may need some further discussion. Yeah, Patrick, yeah. hold the line if you would. I would like to talk more about this. I hope we could find some kind of a solution for people because uh, being not able to connect to uh, the internet is not cool. Uh, we'll see if this will work. 855 450 3733 is our number here on Free Talk Live if you have thoughts. Business owners, listen up. Give me an L. Give me another L. Give me a C. What's that spell? Incorporation, protection, success. Incorporate your business. LLC. 
If you're about to start a business, these three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why LLC.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-915-2955 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from LLC.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Incorporation, protection, success. Incorporate your business. Call now for your free guide. 1-800-915-2955. That's 1-800-915-2955. Moms of America, stand up and stop taking abuse from your kids. I pledge never to let my kid disrespect me ever again. I pledge to stop letting my daughter walk all over me. I pledge to stop living in fear of my son's anger. I pledge never to feel like a bad parent ever again. Because I'm not. I pledge to stop letting my child's behavior control my home. I pledge to be a mom with kids who listen. A total transformation mom. I'm Janet Lehman, co-creator of the Total Transformation Program. We created the Total Transformation to help parents with difficult child behavior. Now, I'm giving it away free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. Call now. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And me, Johnson. And Brian. <laughs> <laughs> See, I hesitated that time. I, said, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say it, actually. So good, good hesitation. <laughs> it was a voluntary interaction between free individuals. Market mechanism decided that right. uh, that order of us introducing ourselves. And uh, if you have anything that's on your mind, Free Talk Live is a show where you can call and bring up anything at 855-450-3733 or on Skype at lrn.fm. And, of course, the, the phone lines are brought to you by ProXPN, our favorite uh, VPN provider. And that was kind of what we were talking about with Patrick uh, in the last segment. And, Patrick, I'm going to bring you back on here. You were uh, basically saying that 
there was somebody who called in last week saying that he was having trouble getting on a VPN from China. From I think he was in Beijing. Yeah. And ha- had trouble getting on Pro XPN. Because uh, this isn't an issue in Hong Kong or Macau. It is particularly mainland China that has this problem. Yeah, and particularly in the cities of mainland China, as I understand it. Right. And China is actually targeting all VPNs. Uh, they can somehow detect whether you're on a VPN connection and they're blocking it somehow. And that was what the person was experiencing, that every few minutes you would get disconnected. So you brought up the idea, Patrick, of um, basically having someone maybe in the U.S. or somewhere else in the world uh, lease their bandwidth and their computing resources, I guess, to somebody maybe in China and be like a decentral create like a decentralized VPN where instead of connecting instead of an individual in China connecting to a server, because that's how a VPN works. Like you connect to a server and then the server accesses uh, websites, right? And your connection is encrypted between you and that server. And it looks like to the website, it looks like you're coming from wherever the server yeah, is whatever. located. It's a relay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a relay. So there's a point in between you and wherever you're going on the web. Um, so you you uh, basically suggested decentralizing this whole process and using um, Bitcoin as a payment mechanism and I thought that was a cool idea. It, it actually sounded to me like this technology called MadeSafe. MadeSafe is basically wants to do for computing what Bitcoin did for money and uh, decentralize it all, basically. And in MadeSafe, there's this idea of, um, you know, most people have a lot of unused computing resources that they're not using all the time. So like storage space, bandwidth, pa- power, computational power. And so you could basically loan those to other people and kind of pool them so that other people could use those resources and then they would pay uh, with a token system um, so that there would be an incentive to lease your computing resources to other people. Right. Now, I mean, Patrick, have have we got that right so far? Yeah, that all sounds right to me. And let me just say, I am a pro XBN user. I think it's a good good service, but uh, that's the only thing I was concerned about because I didn't know how exactly how it worked, whether China like blocked certain IP addresses or they said, these IP addresses are okay. You know, it was like a, well, I which, think I it's, which way they go. Yeah. It's more, they're, they're blocking certain technologies. Okay. Like they're blocking, uh, SSL. Like if you're using good old vanilla SSL, that's blocked. Um, if you're using other technologies like OBFS, um, I mean the, the Nate, the names aren't important. Bottom line is, is that there's certain transmission protocols that VPNs will use and that like Tor also uses. Oh, okay. So, that, okay. so they can tell by the protocol. Right, that, okay. that it's going out. Now, there's okay. ones people have developed, in fact, Tor particularly, they've made OBFS3 mm-hmm. recently that apparently, as far as I know it right now, still works very well in China. But this is this is the thing, and, and this is where I think Patrick's idea is great, because actually Tor is where, if you become a Tor relay, okay, which is what he's talking about, where someone which else could give up their bandwidth, okay? If you could become a Tor relay and you give up that space, you need to somehow incentivize people, though, to be Tor relays today. And someone has talked about a Tor coin, which mm-hmm. is like Bitcoin and very similar to the MadeSafe idea where you are incentivizing within the network. Uh, and so, but the thing is, the reason you have to incentivize is not just because you need to give the person that's running the relay to say, oh yeah, I'll be nice and run a Tor relay. You need to incentivize because Tor doesn't have enough money to get a lot of these newer technologies like OBFS3 well, to Pirate Bay, these areas. Pirate Bay has provided that incentive, I think, or is providing that with, with pe- these people like what's going on in China because the Pirate Bay has re- released the Pirate Browser, right. which is, you know, a customized version of Firefox that comes with Vidalia, uh, which is a particular client for Tor that allows people to access these block sites by, you know, becoming a relay, essentially. Right. But the thing with with Tor is that most of the funding they get Mm -hmm. goes to research and not to implementation. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a problem. So if if you could use microtransactions with Bitcoin or whatever, uh, like like Patrick suggested, or any token, uh, then you can start getting that funding for deployment instead of just research. So I think I think it's a it's a good idea. Definitely, like Johnson mentioned, it does have its issues right mm-hmm. now. But I think if you put the incentivization system, like Patrick uh, mentioned, and if you based yourself in strategic areas like Macau. Yeah, that's uh, what I was saying during the break. Like my thought was like I was a, I'm picturing a, someone in the U.S., for instance, connecting to a server or a node in Macau. Mm-hmm. And then the person in China would also be able to connect to the node in Macau. Cause I don't think Macau is blocked from China. Like, right. They're, they are hands off with Macau and Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. Right. It, so, it's like philosophy there. 
that you don't touch them. Yeah, so put some kind of node or a network of nodes in Hong Kong or Macau and then let people contribute bandwidth via those nodes that they're not using. And that would actually work out perfectly because it's 12 hours difference. So like when most people are sleeping in America, that would be when a lot of people are actively using the internet in China. And that's, sure. That's, that's mm -hmm. what my idea like kind of like clicked in my head. I was like, oh, it'd be perfect because like at night, you know, I might be downloading something, but for the most part, it's just not being used at all, you know? Mm. Right. So if I could, if I, I could make like, make like a dollar and lease my connection out for 12 hours, you know? That's cheaper than a lot of services that you can buy right now or whatever, or 50 cents or, you know, who knows what the price would be. So Yeah, exactly. And with Bitcoin, because the transaction fees are so low, uh, it would be really easy to implement those small payments for like, you know, short amounts of time so right. that no longer would you be having to pay, you know, like, have you ever gone to a hotel and they literally want like $15 a day to get on the Internet? I mean, those days are just they should be right. gone. There's no reason for someone to be charging that much right, <laughs> for right. internet access, especially when it can be crowdsourced and decentralized to the point where you're describing Patrick. Uh, was there anything else on your mind tonight? Yeah, the, well, that that was that, and then I appreciate the input because like I'm I'm pretty good at computers, but like you got this the, all that stuff with like SSL is beyond me, so I didn't know if it was a hardware limitation or whatever. But my question is is how do I find my hyper intelligent Stephanie Murphy in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that is a reference to Brian's podcast, which is called Sovereign Tech, S-O-V-R-Y-N tech.com. That's right. If you want to hear it. And he, um, I am Brian's girlfriend, of course, for those who don't know. And um, if you for, listen well, to your podcast, you have a nickname for me. You call me the lovely and hyper intelligent Dr. Stephanie Murphy. That's right. Uh, for the yeah. record, I, I, I can't really give you an answer to this, Patrick, because she asked me out. <laughs> so I, I like where'd you where'd you guys meet you guys like we met through the other? we met through the liberty movement yeah um and and through me having a, a podcast actually that brian listened to that was kind of how he knew me so i really think if you put yourself out there on the internet it, it is a good way to meet people and if you do things that you enjoy anyway um it's a good way to meet people but if all else fails yep. take, take a yoga class seriously oh it's yes the, if you like women <laughs> do, are you straight yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take a yoga class. Take a dance class. Like the ratio is so skewed in your favor. It's not even funny. <laughs> and you'll learn some useful things that you might enjoy. I like doing yoga. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, Johnson, do you have any tips? Putting yourself out there in general, I think, is probably a good idea. Doing as many things that you can do that are you exactly. as possible. You know, right. just be interesting. And by being interesting, I mean do things that you find interesting and do them all the time. And, you know, obviously you want to preferably do things that are group activities, but find some kind of group activity and, and do that, and it'll probably just fall into place. Yeah, I agree with Johnson wholeheartedly. I've always said, like, even the dating scene, I don't get. Just do what you're doing. Go to the places you're going to go because of your passions. And, you know, when, when, a, when someone shows up, you know, when a woman shows up or whatever— then talk to her. Yeah, yeah, talk to her. I mean, you're you're going to end up talking to her anyway because I mean, going to a bar, I think, in my opinion, is a recipe for disaster yeah. for I finding do, somebody. I do get the dating scene. So what I would suggest is if you're going to do the dating scene, right? Like there are probably tons of guys out there listening that are you know doing the online dating thing or whatnot. Fine, do the online dating thing, but don't expect that you're necessarily going to meet someone just by happen chance, you know, or happenstance through online uh, dating, and that somebody's going to contact you. You're going to contact them, and it's just going to click and work. If you're doing interesting things, then you have have something to invite someone to maybe from the online dating world good point and you're just pulling them into your existence you know be uh, you know have an existence have a life of your own and mm. then bring someone into it awesome well, I, just, I think just, that's just, solid. just a disclaimer yeah i i'm getting out of a relationship right now i've been to like this one single for like three years mm. and um if actually you know my i've gotten more principled you know and i've, I've talked to her about uh you know, raising children non non aggressively, and things haven't worked out very well with that. Like she's, mm. you know, for spanking and stuff. So I was like, you know, this is not going to work out. So we're splitting up. And yeah, I'm just trying to find that a uh, peaceful liberty girl. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, good for you. I mean, I I think that's really admirable to stick to your principles and Absolutely. know when it's not going to work out, and I'm sure it'll be better in the long run. So liberty good, forum yeah. coming up. Good luck, Patrick. And yeah, maybe we'll see you up here in New Hampshire. There are lots Hopefully. of women Imagine. coming to uh, Liberty Forum and Pork Fest. Thanks for calling in tonight. All right, bye, guys. And this is Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733 is our number, or LRN.FM on Skype. More coming up. This 
is the central scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Kane in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, July 13th, 2014. Silver is trading at $21.46 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,339 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $631. Antiwar.com reports, Getting reliable information out of war zones is always challenging, but the ongoing war in eastern Ukraine seems to be exceptionally muddied by far-reaching claims from both sides of massive victories and large unconfirmed casualties. Since Friday's attack on a Ukrainian military base by rebels used a BM-21 Grad rocket launcher, the Ukrainian military claims to have bombarded two cities near Donetsk and citing pilots involved claims to have killed about 1,000 rebel fighters. 500 in each case. The Ukrainian military has a history of making unsubstantiated claims of large rebel casualties, but no single exchange in the war has ever killed more than a few dozen, so an actual killing of 1,000 rebels in a single day would be enormous if it was actually true. The rebels were making some disputed claims yesterday as well, claiming to have shot down an Su-25 warplane outside of Korlivka. The rebels have downed one military transport plane and some helicopters, but never a fighter plane. Ukraine denied that this happened at all. One thing that definitely happened was a military attack on Marinka with at least five civilians killed and four wounded. The exact toll is still a matter of dispute, with rebels reporting as many as 30 killed in the strike, which they said hit an orphanage. With Ukraine targeting Russian journalists on the ground and largely not letting anyone else in the nation's southeast, what is exactly going on in Donetsk remains unclear. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760 
Ballot Access News reports, on July 11th, a Kansas state court ruled that the Secretary of State did not exceed his authority when he determined that voters who registered using the federal voter registration form can only vote on federal offices, not state or county offices. The Kansas Secretary of State does not like the federal voter registration form because unlike the Kansas voter registration form, it allows people to sign under penalty of perjury that they are citizens, whereas the Kansas state form requires documentary proof of citizenship. The Tenth Circuit Court is currently hearing a case over whether Kansas can force the federal government to amend the federal form when it is used in Kansas. Assuming Kansas loses the federal case, the Secretary of State is determined to implement a system in which voters who use the federal form cannot vote in state and local elections. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Coinbase also allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin using a bank account or use their tools to accept Bitcoin as a merchant. Opening a wallet is quick and easy. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. The LA Times reports, despite a unanimous appeal from UN Security Council members, Israel and Palestinian militants traded more airstrikes and rocket fire Saturday with at least one mosque and a center for the disabled among the latest structures hit in the Gaza Strip. Palestinian medical sources said the number of dead in Gaza reached at least 159, the majority of whom were civilians. More than 1,000 people have been wounded. Early Sunday, a huge wave of airstrikes destroyed police stations and much of the security headquarters in the Tel Al Hawa neighborhood in southern Gaza. Separately, news reports quoted the Israeli military as saying four special forces soldiers were slightly wounded in a raid on a rocket launching site in northern Gaza. It was the first time Israeli soldiers were known to have crossed into Gaza during this conflict. The rising death toll has sparked international concern over the proportionality of Israel's response to rocket fire in Gaza. The rockets have struck deeper into Israel than in past conflicts, but have caused only one serious civilian injury. There have been no Israeli deaths as a direct result of a rocket strike. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The Department of Health and Human Services has issued a new ban preventing the nation's shaunas from any further use of tanning salons. The ruling was made after a study found that shaunas are exposed to roughly 5,000 times more UV radiation each year than the average American. They are at a very high risk of developing melanoma and orangey leathery skin. Shaunas, uh, you are tan enough. Let us tan. The nation's shaunas have reacted negatively to the ban. I don't care what the government says. I just want 15 bucks in scratches, so I'm getting a freaking tan. This sucks. None of us have time for this shit. We've got Tammy's at home to raise. In an Onion News Network poll of Shauna's across the country, more than 30% argued that a pale complexion will negatively affect the size of their tips at Ruby Tuesdays. And more than half have said that their boyfriend's Dennis liked them tan. And he's the father of their second child, so they want him to stick around. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show, the Anarchist Edition, with me, Stephanie. And Brian. See, that was the stu- super status. And Johnson. <laughs> yeah, look, he <laughs> ordered me. <laughs> he did. He pointed and his you finger. He the pointed order. at me. Wow. I can't I believe it. I just wanted to see if we could change up the order and do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the real change I in the order. I planned that last break, though, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he toyed with my professionalism. Yeah. No. Somebody's going to stage a coup and, like, say it before me. <laughs> yeah. You'll uh, accidentally unmuted a caller and they'll jump in or something. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen here on Free Talk Live and... You can call in if you've got something on your mind that you want to share with us at 855-450-3733. Now, um, in the last uh, segment, I mentioned that, by the way, we're kicking off the third hour of tonight's show. Uh, in the last segment, we were had, talking about sort of a tech topic, and I mentioned um, Brian's podcast, Sovereign Tech. But Johnson, did you have any projects you want to talk about? Or? I never. I'm horrible. Okay, I should have asked you during the break. <laughs> okay, no. so Johnson is horrible. That's what we got. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm horrible about having a project ready to be able to like 
soon coming soon i keep kind of saying that <laughs> cool yeah. well um i hear you're good at drawing trees yes Yes, you do do uh, graphic design, right? I, I do do if, graphic if design. If our listeners, yes. I mean, there's always a need for graphic designers. Yes. But if our listeners um, want to you, contact me directly, Johnson at freetalklive.com. Cool. And you did the logo for Free Talk Live yes. and um, the AMP t shirts. I've right? worked for like, uh, you know, nhliberty.org. I've worked for NH Common Sense. Um, I, you know, so many And a lot of companies people. that are not Liberty companies. Yeah. I'm just, sure. I'm, I'm just, you know, naming the Liberty ones because people know a lot of these groups. Cool. Sure. All right. Well, Johnson at freetalklive.com if you need some graphical services. And let's go right to. <coughs> me let's go right to skype hopefully he'll talk so i don't have to this is a good talker though on skype we've got michael w dean from the freedom fiends hey, oh michael. man <laughs> hello everyone <laughs> how are your brains i tonight? thought this was michael not the central scrutinizer oh sorry Put him on <laughs> I got a new toy it's a lexicon mx 200 that uh, sounds pretty slick i have to say tech geeks in the room well you know i went to pork fest i actually met stephanie murphy for about four seconds she's a very <laughs> in-demand person and i, I know i wish i had seen you more did you leave like before the end of the like i know I you were there up monday through saturday i left uh, we were not there saturday we we're there monday through friday all day all night you know most of the night every yeah day. late night yeah i think i went to yeah, bed so, before your show started unfortunately <laughs> but yeah we did a couple shows one to three a.m live there and uh uh, Ian Freeman was on one of them tripping, and I started playing with the effects on the board. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. That was great I radio. I just decided I had to get one when I got home so I could do that without breaking the internet like apparently I did uh, when I did that. Yeah, I got a bunch of uh, – I got a tech – I got a bunch of link dumps here of some cool stuff that people have done in Liberty lately, me and my friends. And uh, then if we had time, I want to talk about John Green, that guy someone called in about. And he actually wrote the foreword to a book I wrote, co-wrote for O'Reilly Media. And the guy's really? an inveterate socialist. It's kind of funny. I don't know why you'd recommend someone would recommend him wow. as a resource on liberty, but wow. So yeah. yeah okay. This... So real quick, go and go. Oh, go ahead. Go no, ahead. no. Lay out. Lay your links on us, and I'm curious to hear more about about the guy. Okay. First of all, first of all, there's a program called Blink. Do you guys know it, Brian? Nope. Blink. Blink as in is a, like a VoIP. It's a VoIP oh, okay. program. I thought you because the Chrome engine now is called Blink. Blink is, uh, it's the secure VoIP, right? It's like uh, encrypted. Yeah, it's secure yeah. VoIP. It doesn't go through the NSA. I mean, Microsoft. I mean, uh, Skype. <laughs> it sounds better than Skype. It doesn't drop calls like Skype, and it's duplex. So two people in did far locations sound like they're in the same room because they can wow. talk over each other, whereas Skype kind of plays like traffic cop and like lets the loudest one through and meets the other one <laughs> mm, yeah we're starting to use it on the freedom fiends that's an awesome suggestion i appreciate that because um you know a lot of people who listen to the show and us here sitting in the studio um do podcasting and sometimes with remote hosts and before that i had been using mumble which right. is made for gaming yeah. and that does let you talk over each other and even record to separate tracks but it's definitely not encrypted or secure which so, if you're yeah. doing a public podcast you know maybe you don't need that however sometimes you say stuff off the air that you might want to keep private it sounds better too it sounds better than mumble i use mumble forever for uh mm -hmm. you know lrn what about delay like with this uh you know especially if something's <laughs> encrypted my worry would be with delay and and talking over somebody else that You'd be constantly talking over somebody yeah, else because you'd you get... know there's 300 milliseconds of delay on it, but there is of uh, latency. But there also is on Skype. It just doesn't tell you how much latency right. is, and right. you know, doesn't tell you what the uh, what the it, it, Skype is is a closed shop. It doesn't tell you what's going on on it. Whereas you know things like Mumble or, or Blink do have some statistics. But the thing is, Bl <clears throat> Blink also it sounds really good, like better than Skype using the um, using the opus codec but if you use the mm -hmm. uh there's another codec in there g722 it doesn't sound as good but you can connect to a comrex with it so you could literally do your show from a laptop without a mixer you know to free talk live or to gcn with it there right. are a lot of liberty folk who use uh opus we actually all use it for gaming and there's like a group of people who are all liberty minded who all get together to shoot zombies um and we all use opus on a uh, team speak so it's to all yell at each other. Word. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, go around a corner, shoot him in the head. Yep. So when I, I saw a little bit, a tiny bit of unsafe gun handling at Porkfest, and uh, mm. to help that not happen next year, I am taking a pay cut by taking a couple DVDs that I make money selling, and I'm putting up, put them up free 
on uh, the YouTubes and on Torrents. And if you go to the Freedom Fiends blog or if you're on the Freedom Fiends Torrent feed, which is the Torrent Club link on Freedom Fiends, you can get Gun Training with the Non-Aggression Principle, Volume 1, Basic Handgun and Rifle with Jared Waltz, which is a great resource and has a great section on gun safety. And you can get the new shorter anarchist cut of Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom, which also has a great section on uh, gun safety. Uh, wow. I came up with an idea. This reminds me, and I don't know if I was talking to you, if you were talking with Ian or what was going on, but uh, we I was having a conversation with Ian at Porkfest about, after hearing you talk about uh, cropping down Guns and Weed to be about an hour. And Ian, with one, now with 100% less statism. Right, right exactly. <laughs> yes. and, and Ian had talked about how he was cutting down uh, Derek J's victimless crime spree. And so I was sitting there and I came, I'm like, this needs to be a Grindhouse DVD. <laughs> just of what? Just the scenes of cops attacking Derek? No, no, just Grindhouse of Guns and Weed and then Victimless Crime Spree. A two, you could make it into a two hour full DVD. Oh, I see. Where it's a Grindhouse of both of those movies. <laughs> oh, I just thought that anybody, that would be. Anybody's free to do that because they're both released Creative Commons exactly. Attribution 3.0 license. Right on. I'm I'm done cutting that movie. I'm on to cut it. <laughs> You're like, no, I'm done. Well, you know, I, I really, it. Michael, I actually, I really appreciate you putting up those movies for free because yeah. I agree. I saw some aspects that, uh, you know, of gun uh, handling, I'll say, that I was not, uh, I was not pleased with that at Porkfest as well. So I appreciate that. Mm. I want to say ditto to that. And Michael, what did you specifically see? Do you want to tell some of the stories? Uh, I don't know. There was, you know, I heard of some stories. I heard there was somebody on stage doing karaoke, pointing a gun at the audience, which is ridiculous. What? That's what I heard. I didn't Thanks. see it, but I had, I was talking to a, a young guy about guns and he had a rifle and we were looking at it and talking about it. And, uh, I asked him if he, you know, carried a sidearm and he reached into his pocket and pulled out a really cool old antique Luger 22 and handed it to me. And it was, you know, I said, is it loaded? And he said, yeah. And when he handed it to me, he swept someone's tent. And I said, you know, you just pointed that gun at people. And he said, there's, you know, I didn't, or I said, you did, just did something unsafe. And he was like, oh, I didn't point it at any people. I said, you pointed it at that tent. I'm not going to say whose tent it was because they don't need to know. I don't want to scare them that they had <laughs> sure. a point yeah. in the tent. Okay, it was the Russian tea room tent. She was in there making tea. And this kid who was, you know, sitting at the tea room. Uh, they were great, by the way. They're great. I love the Russian tea room there. But, uh, yeah, this kid, like, swept it with it. And I was like, you just point. There's people in that tent and, a, and canvas will not stop at 22. And he kind of looked at me like, you're square. You have rules. You're not an anarchist. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. That's lame. So, um. He wasn't confrontational. He was just kind of like, whoa, what a buzzkill, old man. And then uh, so next year, I'm going to take just the gun safety sections of these two movies, put them on an infinite loop. My friend Derek <laughs> Silver, the guy who runs the uh, the ambulance, the media ambulance, is going to provide hardware. We're going to have a flat screen at Davi Barker's table with an infinite loop with audio running these gun safety sections. <laughs> right on. Awesome. I love it. Michael, did you have more to say? No, I'm good. Okay, Worms. cool. Worms. Thanks, thanks for calling Worms. in tonight. I appreciate you doing that, too, with the gun safety <laughs> yeah. at Porkfest. Worms. We'll see you on the other Worms. side. This is Free Talk Live, and there is more coming up. You can get your calls in at 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Business owners, listen up. Give me an L. Give me another L. Give me a C. What's that spell? Incorporation. Protection. Success. Incorporate your business. Oh. L-L-C. If you're about to start a business, these three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why LLC.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-915-2955 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from LLC.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Incorporation, protection, success. Incorporate your business. Call now for your free guide. 1-800-915-2955. That's 1-800-915-2955. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. 
Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. This is novelist Tom Robbins. When my mother was diagnosed with glaucoma, her conservative Virginia physician told her there was only one treatment that might ease her pain and save her eyesight. That treatment was medical marijuana, which he could not prescribe. I offered to get her some and teach her how to use it effectively, but my father objected because marijuana was against the law. So my mother, who loved to read and walk in nature, was condemned to grow cruelly, unnecessarily blind. Tragedies like this happen all the time, but they don't have to keep happening. To learn more about medical marijuana, call the Marijuana Policy Project at 1-877-JOIN-MPP or visit them on the web at mpp.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Do you love coffee as much as I love coffee? Here's a delicious way to drink the best of the best coffee and make a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox Coffee. And you can try a pound for free. All you do is cover shipping. It's organic, shade-grown, top 1% Arabica grade. 10% of future purchases help our efforts to give the gift of human freedom through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition. With me, Stephanie. And Brian. And uh-huh. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say in before you guys. <laughs> 855-450-3733 if you want to get in before the next caller. And uh, you can also call us on Skype at lrn.fm. Bring up anything that's on your mind. So uh, on the, one of the breaks, we were talking about the fact that I've been growing my own marijuana. Plant. No, oh, coffee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, and uh, well, it takes a very, very long time. I've had this coffee tree growing from a, a sprout for uh, several years, and it's just now kind of getting up to waist height. Wow. Uh, they, they can get up to like six feet tall, and they make really cool house plants. But uh, part of the reason I want to bring up how long it takes to grow the coffee is to talk to you about coffee.freetalklive and Buzzbox coffee, which you can get a free pound of the best coffee from Buzzbox. It's shade grown, 100% organic and top 1% grade Arabica. Now shade grown, now you grow your coffee plant in your house. Right. It never sees sun? Uh, well, I mean, I keep it right by the window so that it sees enough okay. sun. Right. I, you know, I've wanted to put it outside to try and get it to grow a little faster because I think it would if it got some, maybe some direct sunlight. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously it wouldn't probably be as great tasting coffee eventually, but um. You know, I just, I'm afraid it would get bugs and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, so I'm just trying yeah. to be careful with it because, you know, I have had it for so long and it feels like a pet at this point. You know, yeah. You kind of attached. <laughs> so to do shade grown coffee, that takes a long time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's so very this is serious growing. stuff here. Yep. So, and, uh, you know, it makes the organic certification that much more important because it takes time and care. So, Buzzbox is competitively priced with other high end coffees, but they do something that co- other coffees. Uh, other coffee producers seem to care nothing for. They set up a program that allows people around the world to buy into their co-op. 
And Free Talk Live is attempting to recruit a thousand listeners to order their coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com, thus allowing us to finance a hundred micro micro loans through World Vision. Help us change lives by ordering. I can't read tonight. <laughs> Help us change lives by offering people in poverty an opportunity to change their own lives. Get started now by getting your free pound of coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com. You pay shipping and you can cancel the subscription at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Cool. All right. Let's go to Skype and talk to Nathan. Hey, Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, everybody. Hey, Nathan. What's on your mind tonight? Uh, t- well, it's, uh, I want to say it's interesting you brought up Lady Gaga because she's been using her lizard shape-shifting powers for, uh, to line her own pockets. Hey, she was born star. this way, okay? Sorry. okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, was, uh, I heard the story about this uh, GOP um, worker named Kiana Keith, and she's filing some kind of lawsuit against the Georgia Republican Party. And it seems to be one of these hostile work environment kind of complaints. Okay. Like they say that... Like, for example, she was parking in the parking lot and then some official tells her not to, but there's no policy on that. And uh, she hears racial slurs. And then there's and a, she's a black. That, yes, that's correct. OK. And then there's a there's a dinner that Republican officials are supposed to go to. And she's traditional like her her position attends. But then she was replaced by a white male. Mm. And so there's all these kind of accusations in the story and I don't know whether they're true or not but it does uh, bring up this topic of hostile workplaces uh you know like these these kind of situations where you're in a job and like you you're not actually like you're not actually fired but people sort of make it harder and harder for you to be there until you leave kind of a thing like you yeah. seen that movie Office Space yeah they sent the, remember they sent Milton into the basement <laughs> to catch rats yeah oh my <laughs> gosh yeah the uh, story also of um, uh, Bradley Jardis comes up the, if people have been listening to the show for a long time he was a cop in New Hampshire and I guess he discovered Free Talk Live and found out about Liberty and then he became a Liberty minded cop and uh, basically once that happened they department that he worked at did not make it a pleasant work environment for him and basically drove him out. Has that ever happened to yeah. you guys, Johnson and Brian? Like where well, you had a, but before, oh, yeah? before you answer the, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to know. Like, do you guys have any stories? But real quick, I wanted to just mention that I had a similar, well, not similar, but I did have an experience where I, it was a kind of hostile environment. One of my first jobs, it, uh, basically it was at this office building and, uh, I got a new boss and, there wasn't really a, uh, there, I guess no one ever said like, you know, that they were looking to fire people, but you would get email. I would get email to say, if you show up late, then you are firing yourself. And like, weird. <laughs> that's like the, that's like when cops arrest you. If you drive drunk, you're, or if you smoke pot, you're putting yourself in jail. Really? I thought you were putting me in jail. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then my, my mailbox got removed and my name got taken off of it and just like weird. Oh my and, God. See, I was Before you got because... fired. Wait, so you were still working there and they removed your mailbox and took your name off the door? Wow. Yeah. There was just weird things like <laughs> oh that. that uh, okay. But I'm that going to burn like down the building now. Not so <laughs> subtle <laughs> hint there. <laughs> and wow. since it was one of my first jobs, I was confused and I yeah. Didn't know what to do. And, sure. You know, eventually I had to have an argument and have the, the boss actually tell me you're fired because like I kept thinking, well, logically, if I'm fired, then I should be told that I'm fired and I should, you know, <laughs> that's how it works. Right. Wow. If you want to get someone's if it's not economical to have an employee, then you tell well, that. Well, unless you you're a contractor, you X, Y, Z. So get out unless you're working for a company as a contractor and then they can just stop giving you work. No, yeah, I'm talking about yeah. actual employees. Yeah, actual employees. So I've been in this situation before, and I wanted to know, do you guys have any stories like that, and what do you think people should do in those situations? Mm. What, burn, do you guys want to go first? B- burn down the building. <laughs> <laughs> I was told that I would have a stapler. <laughs> Where is my stapler? <laughs> That's reference to Office Space, if you haven't seen yeah, it. Classic great movie. movie. Great movie. I have a story, if you guys don't want to share first. Um, I worked, I'll go ahead. I had a workplace where... Um, basically the boss had a lot of power over me and he made some comments that I felt uncomfortable with. Uh, one of them was about a work, another worker who got pregnant. He claimed that she didn't do any work when she got pregnant, which from my perspective was not true. She worked very hard, um, even when she was pregnant. And, uh, he also said that he didn't like gay people and I am bisexual. So I didn't feel comfortable being out at work. And, um, 
actually at one point I had a girlfriend and I had to like I brought her to the workplace and I had to just tell everybody that she was just my friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, so like it did kind of affect my life. And I kind of tried to like just, you know, shrug it off and not let it let it ruin my day uh, most of the time. And I mean, there are like a lot of other issues like there was an issue. There were like lots of issues with um, just the quality of the equipment in the workplace made it difficult to do the job sometimes. And uh, also, you know, I don't want to say too much, but the bottom line was I didn't feel like uh, I really had much of a choice except to just leave, you know. And it wasn't like he didn't um, specifically target me like he I think he actually liked me because for the most part, I was like pretty quiet and I just kind of went along with the flow because I was just kind of trying to make it as easy on myself as I could until I could leave. Um, but I did end up leaving because it wasn't a pleasant place to work. And I'm really glad that I did. I never looked back. My feeling is I don't want to work for someone who I'm not doing it on my own terms. And so I work for myself. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. problem solved. Uh, not everybody can readily do that, but there are lots of great resources out there about entrepreneurship. And I think it really is. I really do believe that it is possible for pretty much anyone to create a job for themselves. Um, and you don't have to work for an abusive boss or a boss that you just simply don't like or you don't get along with. Yeah, I think there's some interesting points to bring up about this when we, when we come back. Yeah, please uh, hold the line if you wouldn't mind, Nathan, and we'll talk more about this in moments here on Sunday Free Talk Live. Have you ever worked at a workplace where it was a hostile work environment, according to you, or just uncomfortable? 855-450-FREE. More coming up. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. 
I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733 is the number to call if you want to bring up anything that's on your mind. You can also call on Skype at lrn.fm, although it's uh, we do have Nathan on Skype right now. We've been talking to him about hostile work environments, and uh, it's a little tricky to put Skype calls on hold. So um, maybe if you want to call on Skype, you may want to just message me or hold off on calling until we're done with Nathan's call. But uh, by the way, it's me, Stephanie. Johnson. <laughs> And Brian. That was a coup. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Man. We've been taking Insurgents. Over. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But, uh, you know, speaking of workplaces <laughs> and maybe getting things done at work, something you could check out if you're feeling fatigued or you need that extra edge is Modafinil from modup.net. That's M O D U P.net. Uh, studies show one in five students, so this isn't just workers, but students use this cognitive enhancer, to, uh, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, uh, greater, greater focus overall. Businessmen, you know, around the world have talked about using this. Uh, and, you know, as far as the question, how good is the modafinil from modup.net? Well, they provide only the highest premium modafinil with the highest potency. Uh, and to prove that, they are the number one sponsor of Reddit's third-party nootropic testing project. So they are putting it out there, uh, you, you know, to, to essentially to put their money where their mouth is. Yeah, I so, like that they're in, amenable to testing. Sure. Now, I mean, look into my, you know, look into modafinil. Have you taken modafinil? No. I have not. I have not. I'm really interested to try it. Well, well, if you do, use the, <laughs> yeah, code, <I> know. <laughs> use the code FTL and you'll get 10 free tablets. Uh, and, and if you use Bitcoin, you can actually get 33% off. Um, but yeah, I mean, you got to understand this is a worldwide company. Free Talk Live is a worldwide show. Do check your local restrictions and prescription laws and all that stuff and look into Modafinil for yourself. But if you're going to get it, Go to modup.net. There are and, some just videos of, of uh, people who use modafinil online that, you know, that are like high-end CEOs that are using this to get like an extra edge. And, sure. Because, uh, I mean, it allows you to not sleep. You know, it's used right. by soldiers to allow you to not sleep and completely removes all that sleep fog away. I mean, obviously. As long as the drug is in effect. I right. Mean, yeah, I do know someone personally yeah. who has taken it, it was, and was doing shift work at the time, which mm -hmm. is what it was designed for, right. for shift workers. And I mean, he really said, like, yeah, he it was got awake. He it. was alert. Like, there was no jitters, but right. he was alert all night. But he did need some extra sleep right. after that. So, yeah. yeah. So, know. look into yourself, look into it for yourself. Modafinil from modup.net. Cool. All right. And uh, by the way, we were, so we're talking with Nathan about um, hostile work environments. And Nathan, welcome back to the show. Um, Thank I you did, very much. I did want to just say real quick that. Um, I mentioned that I I was, you know, I thought that entrepreneurship might be an option for people who are currently in jobs where they don't really like the terms of where, you know, their their boss or where they're working or or their coworkers maybe being nasty to them or whatever. And um, I just wanted to mention that I'm a voiceover artist now That's and right. <laughs> I, I work for myself. I'm practicing what I preach. Um, and if you want to find out about my voiceover services, you can go to I have a couple of voiceover websites. One is smvoice.info. Um, I do commercials, audiobooks, all kinds of other stuff. But I just launched another new website called voicemail-greeting.com. 
And at Voicemail Greeting, it's it's just a website site specifically for like plug and play <laughs> voice office voicemail. Because Sounds like you need Medafinil. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking like, uh, I don't think I'd want WebSpite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I think a lot of people are looking for office voicemail greetings. That's one of the most common voiceover jobs that I end up getting. So I just decided I was going to make a make a site specifically for that. So if you need a voicemail for your office, voicemail. Press one. Yeah. Voice <laughs> press one <laughs> press one for johnson yeah. press two for brian <laughs> wow <laughs> dial 855 well, 450 if, free <laughs> what's that I, nathan if i ever get a if i ever get a job working on the enterprise i'll put in a request to have you uh, <laughs> absolutely awesome. thank you absolutely <laughs> thank you nathan so that's voicemail-greeting.com yeah. um, so I, interested. yeah so i wanted to talk about you know some of my experience now i've never experienced where a job was like trying to push me out um but i i actually at one point in my life i worked in fast food. And a very common practice in that is what they'll do is, is if a person isn't performing, uh, which it's amazing that anyone wants to perform for the pennies that you get paid at that job. Okay. But if you're not performing, they'll pretty much give you two hours a week. You know, they'll just just start shrinking the amount of hours that you work and there's no legal recourse for that. Yeah. Okay. And this is, by the way, that that happened to me too. in the job that I was at, it was shrinking working hours and my mailbox was gone. Yeah, exactly. They kind of give you the hint. And it's funny because you'd think that you could go to people that you, you know, you could talk to, well, not OSHA, but you could talk to a union of some kind or somebody to say, look, I know they're doing this on purpose. They just won't fire me. They're trying to get me to quit. So I, they don't, Mm -hmm. you know, so there is an unemployment or they have to give me some kind of layoff pay or something. Uh, But this is really interesting because this is one of those areas where people say, look, we need government to enforce you know, good working conditions. Look, yeah. people are going to skirt their way around it, just like what uh, you know what Nathan talked about, mm. what you've talked about, what I've talked about. I mean, they they will find the way. Government doesn't solve that issue, and then you can say, well, OSHA could you know makes requirements that uh, you know the company. Like, here's a common one: if you're in a job where there's lifting of anything over 75 pounds, you have to wear steel toe shoes. Okay. Okay. And the company is supposed to buy those shoes for you. But guess what? OSHA says the company only has to pay $35. If there's no $35 steel toe shoes around, you're going to pay the extra amount. Oh, Okay. Wow. Or you're not going to work there. And yeah. most steel toe shoes, as far as I've seen, cost quite a bit more. Yeah. So 100 bucks. Right. So <laughs> there's... Maybe you take a, pair of, a piece of steel and just super glue it to the front <laughs> of the shoe. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's one of those regulations where it's like, okay, well, it's steel toed now, isn't it? <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, government doesn't solve this issue at all. They just figure yeah. out ways uh, around it. It's the veneer of protection when obviously right. that's not really happening. And I don't know about you, Nathan, but like I... Okay, if somebody was discriminating against me for whatever reason, they didn't like my gender or whatever, uh, or if somebody just didn't like me as a worker, they didn't think I was doing a good job at the job, I would want them to be able to be free to end that relationship so I didn't have to suffer and they didn't have to suffer. You know, I don't want it to be hidden behind these laws where they can't really fire me, but they're just keeping me on but trying to make me quit. Like, that's just... Why not be direct about it and be able to communicate? And also, if somebody is, um, if if someone is discriminatory or whatever, I want to know so I don't work for them, right? right? You know, like the right. Repu- right. that lady in the Republican Party was alleging that people were racist. Like, you know, it doesn't protect her to be like shielded from knowing who the racists are. Like, she should be able to know <laughs> and avoid them, right? Yeah, they, ac- they actually had her working at the front office, so she was basically the face of that office building for the wow. Republican Party in Georgia. So it doesn't you know, seem like a, a they wanted to business convince practice. people they weren't they wanted to convince people in this article's words that it wasn't that the Republican Party is not a, a retirement home for old white people. So I think they kind of and I think it's too late for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They use the whole thing for image. Wow. <laughs> and I got to say, you know, there's there's something to be said for it. And it's not the most courageous thing in the world, but there is also something to be said for maintaining separate identities between your work and personal life. You know, that's. It's what all the kids are doing these days. It's all the rage, you know. Oh, yeah, make yeah. a fake Facebook profile. Yeah, well, I made a fake identity for myself, and I've been maintained it for a very long time. Where it's like one identity for work and one identity for my radio and liberty personality. You're living a double life. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that does work for some people. Um, I read an interesting the lizard people. Uh, yeah, the lizard people. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just don't I let them see don't your tell eyelids. anybody, Nathan. Don't let them see your eyelids yes, blinking know, from right? the side. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> cam.freetalklive.com uh, anyway I was going to say I did read a, an interesting study just re- recently that was done in the last couple of years 
because uh, there's all this talk about um, like employers refusing to hire people because of photos they might see on social media or or stuff that they might read about somebody online, like arrest records or whatever. And the study actually said that there were very few employers that didn't hire someone because of something that they saw on the internet. Like it was, you know, less than a third of employers refused to hire someone because of Googling them. But there were like two thirds of employers said that they did hire someone because of something positive that they saw on the internet from them. That's interesting. So I actually uh, heard a story recently that uh, my girlfriend told me about somebody here in the Free State Project who uh, specifically made a separate email for their job search because they weren't getting jobs. And as soon as they changed their email to a specific thing that separated them from anything on the internet, they started getting callbacks immediately. Oh, Whoa, hot that's, tip. That's interesting. Yeah. Nathan, did you have any more? Nathan? <laughs> All right, he may be already gone. So there's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. Nathan, thank you for the call. This is Free Talk Live, 855 450 free in the last segment of the show. One little joint supplement. You know this powerful little pill is great for your joints. It even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility. But the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't give you the joint relief you're looking for. Until now. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. It's the number one selling joint supplement at GNC. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-608-9424. Instaflex provides powerful, effective joint relief for your knees, hands, even your hips. Prove it to yourself by calling now for your complimentary sample. Instaflex is available at GNC, Walgreens, and CVS. But you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-608-9424. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample. 1-800-608-9424. Moms of America, stand up and stop taking abuse from your kids. I pledge never to let my kid disrespect me ever again. I pledge to stop letting my daughter walk all over me. I pledge to stop living in fear of my son's anger. I pledge never to feel like a bad parent ever again. Because I'm not. I pledge to stop letting my child's behavior control my home. I pledge to be a mom with kids who listen. A total transformation mom. I'm Janet Lehman, co-creator of the Total Transformation Program. We created the Total Transformation to help parents with difficult child behavior. Now I'm giving it away free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. Call now. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring time into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this closet. No, I have work today. This you is you ain't gonna make. Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Whoa. Hey! Oh my God! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me. What am I being now? What is this? What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, 
Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Free. This is Free Talk Live, the very last segment of tonight's Sunday episode with me, Stephanie. And Johnson. And Brian. Oh, look, the market decided. It finally, <laughs> at the end, see, the market does solve everything. If you want to get your calls in, you better do it quick because this is the last segment at 855-450-3733. The market in this case being Ian saying that it goes around. <laughs> <laughs> Right. And you can also call on Skype at LRN.FM if you do it quickly. Uh, And I guess in the last segment, um, maybe we ought to just promote our um, Free Talk Live uh, affiliate programs, which, you know, the three of us don't get any benefit from any money from those, except that it supports Free Talk Live. And, you know, it really does make a difference for um, Mark and Ian and Free Talk Live's ability to operate. And that's the uh, the. Well, support terrible... support Free Talk Live. You support Liberty. Yes. I mean, that's that's a fact. Yeah, you know? and helps the show grow and reach more right. people. So I was going to plug uh, shop.freetalklive.com, which has a bunch of affiliate links that you can do your normal shopping through. And, and then... these don't cost you. I've always found, found that Ian and Mark advertise these very poorly by not letting people know that it doesn't cost you anything to use these links. You just go. The only time it costs you is the click. Exactly. You, just, you go in there, and then what happens is, is that Free Talk Live gets a cut of Amazon's profit or yeah, a cut or, or of now they have one for Newegg's Walmart profit or Walmart's profit or whoever. Yeah, we were actually just at Brian and I were at Walmart the other night doing a midnight uh, Walmart run. It was awesome. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> we have a good time. And uh, the cashier said you can order stuff online through Walmart's website and have it like delivered to a store for pickup. So if you yeah free shipping if you do yep. that you can use Free Talk Live's link and it's it is basically a free way it's a way to send Free Talk Live a tip for free that mm-hmm. doesn't cost you anything but it gives Free Talk Live some support. So show them some love at shop.freetalklive.com. Let's go to the phones. And talk to Robert in Bellows Falls, Vermont. Hey, Robert, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Doing great tonight. Uh, I had a question about uh, DWR checkpoints. Okay. So I, I heard this this awful story the other day that came up in conversation. Uh, if I pull up to a DWR checkpoint, can they draw blood out of me? Uh, I believe in Pennsylvania this has become... And Texas and Oklahoma. There are some states where yeah. I believe what happens is um, they they set up a DWI checkpoint, usually on like the 4th of July weekend or some holiday, you know, about freedom and patriotism or something. And uh, they make it mandatory for everybody who passes through that checkpoint to blow into a breathalyzer to see if they are drunk or can get arrested for drunk driving or whatever. And if you refuse to do the breathalyzer test, then they can take you to a hospital to have blood drawn to do an alcohol, a blood alcohol test. So it is only if you refuse the breathalyzer. As we understand it. But Does of it have course, to be a hospital? I, I heard that there are some places where they do it, they can just do it right on the yeah, side of the road. The road Pennsylvania, side, yeah. they are. They're yeah. doing it like right there Which while is you're pulled terrifying. over. Yeah. yeah. I have not heard of this happening in oh, Vermont. Yeah, go ahead. I'm qualified to do the uh, to do the drawing of the blood, of the blood, the police. Well, the yes. police have drawn a lot of blood in their day, I think. Yeah. But uh, sorry, yeah, sorry, not, that was a not in joke. a humane way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it I is definitely so, a real. Uh, it is a real civil liberties concern, Robert. I mean, the just the idea of not being able to refuse a search of your person, which is that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, in order, if you want to pass through the checkpoint, and it's suspicionless. It's like they're stopping every single car that goes past a certain point in the road. So the only thing I could really recommend is Vermont has a lot of nice little back roads. Take those instead of the highway. Take Route 5 instead of Route 91 or whatever. Well, it's crazy that this is legal. I mean, when you get a Supreme Court, a recent Supreme Court uh, ruling coming down saying that they can't even search your phone, your smartphone, without a warrant, how can they draw your blood at any given time? I mean, that's that's insane. You know, and, and the Supreme Court made the point that, look, the phone is like a part of you. So they're talking about the fact that you have control of your <laughs> privacy and body. Okay. And yet these guys are saying, nope, you don't. Well, what I, what I wanted to know was, 
because the police, I mean, is there anybody that qualified that can actually draw the blood out of you? I don't think so. And what if they make a mistake? Sometimes police are paramedics, no. so, so they may have some phle- phlebotomy training or they may have a paramedic there with them to do the blood draws, but they uh, cops do not get medical training beyond like maybe very basic first aid or how to use a defibrillator. Uh, so they would not... I wouldn't. I wouldn't consider them qualified. Yeah, and, and it's scary, Robert. I mean, because when you consider when you go to the hospital, sometimes nurses have a hard enough time being able to draw oh, yeah. blood, I'm and they're one trained of those with little yeah. veins. Well, they're, they're some, quote unquote trained professionals. My my concern is that some police are so stupid that they might just have air in the in the needle and and accidentally depress oh, yeah. the plunger and blow blood in your veins and kill someone. Yeah, it's an air embolus. Yeah, right. So there's no way you're blasting out of that except to get the uh, to uh, get the DWI and off. Uh, well, you don't. Of course, you don't have to consume alcohol. Yeah. You, you could do that, or you just blow into the uh, breathalyzer, well, right? Let's just shoot. If I'm pulling up to a checkpoint, and I'm not drunk at all, I haven't been drinking, and I refuse to do the blood test, and I refuse to do the the uh, you know the blood test or the breath, just, you know, I shouldn't be uh, uh, have to worry about losing my license if I haven't. I mean, yeah. the burden of proof is on the police, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't know how they can get away with that. And thank you for calling in, Robert. I stay safe out there. Take the back roads. That's what I have to recommend. I yeah, mean, well, it's crazy that you and... have to change your life for their for some serious ineptitude. It is. You know, yeah. uh, but as far as as far as I know, Pennsylvania is the worst on this, mm. and, they, and they, Texas they, and Oklahoma. Uh, I've yeah, heard those too. Um, but Tennessee uh, apparently too. Oh, wow. Boy. Yeah, it's yeah. happening so it's, in more it's places. It's growing. And I, we have such a hard time finding medical professionals in this country to think that police are, are trained to, to draw blood. Mm. Some maybe, but that can't be the bulk of them. So if this yeah. grows, that's an issue. I have a message for, for medical people out there, paramedics, EMTs, nurses, doctors, anyone who works in the medical field. This is as coming from someone who did go to medical school for two years. I chose not to continue. So I'm not a physician, but I'm, you know, have some training. You do not work for the cops. Your first duty is to the patient and to keep them safe and healthy. And if the cops order you to do something, you don't have to say yes. Your first job is to make sure that the patient is safe. And this, you know, story of the guy who got pulled over in New Mexico yeah. and essentially systematically raped like eight times. Multiple having colonoscopies. Colonoscopies, which yeah. is a surgical procedure. I mean, there's just no reason that the hospital staff should have let that go on. And in fact, he was taken to one hospital who refused to do it. So you always have the choice to refuse. And uh, you, you may get sued by the patient if you end up doing something on the order of the cops that the patient doesn't consent to. But uh, saying no um, probably will not result in anything coming to you, except maybe some nasty looks from the cops. So... I mean, I don't know. I'm not an expert on that. I'm not giving advice. I'm just saying that medical professionals work for the patient, not for the police. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk to Sean in Iowa. Sean, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Um, I was just wanted to talk about the um, child immigrants thing. Okay. This is from the beginning um, of the show, right? Well, first of all, and, and are you all in Iowa? I'm no, we me. are broadcasting from New Hampshire, uh, but hear. this the show is syndicated nationally. Oh. Internationally, actually. Okay. Well, well, I was just wanted to say in Iowa that they have a, uh, a no fault rule where you can fire anybody for anything. Oh, okay. Um, but um, on the on the on the child um, immigrant thing, um, you all are libertarians, correct? 